Hello, everybody! Welcome, welcome one, welcome all to the Goblins of Io. Very excited that you all are here. Welcome, guys. Welcome. For those that didn't know, we're doing a little D&D show today in the in the world of Io, and it all and it stars uh, a bunch of goblins. Could could you believe it, chat? Could you believe it? Could you? Could you, could you absolutely believe it? That we have a game that's gonna be full full of goblins? Now, I have been promised by the players that they will not murder everybody in the I've been I, I've been given a straight promise. Um I, I I did see in the mirror though that they did cross their fingers behind their back. Uh so I don't know what that means, chat. Chat, what does it mean when the players cross their fingers and hold it behind their back? Do we know? No? Don't know what that means? Okay. All right. Well, I know you guys have been waiting for quite a while. You've been big rack and hyper rack and 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 all that. And so we're going to have our little pre-show be shorter than usual so we can dive right in. Are you guys ready for a D&D show with goblins starring your boys? We got Bree Bun. We got Crendor. We got Jesse Cox, we got King Bendrick, and we've got Tomato Gaming. Are we ready for a fun little D&D game today, guys? I think we are. I'm about to mute. Um, here we go. Unmuting. All right. I'm going to unmute. I hope nobody is saying anything cursed when I unmute. Keep your fingers crossed, chat. Blessed be that nothing cursed is happening when I unmute this chat. Please. For the love of God, please. Here we go. Hello. Guys. Hello. Hi. Yay. Hello. How you guys doing? I'm eating Indian food. That's fine. Yeah, he's talking to us about the Indian food he's eating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How uh how's the food, Crandor? Tasty? It's pretty good. Yeah? Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I'm glad I'm glad you got something to eat and you got some good food. All going in your little tum tum. How's everybody else doing today? Good. Good. Epic. Are you guys excited? Oh, to... I wish I said epic. <laughs> yeah. Are you, a big deal. <laughs> are you guys ready to play a, a fun and exciting uh, uh, D and D adventure? I'm Hell all ready. yeah. Okay. You can mess me at two a.m. I'd say I'm ready. I was ready <laughs> twenty nine minutes lie. ago. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Why would you lie to this man like that? Why would you I mean, hurt I'm, me like that? Why? Am, like my prime time. Yeah. Yeah. Why would you? Okay, so we should have. <laughs> okay, I'll remember that next time. Next game, I invite you in. I'll make sure it's two in the morning so that way you're good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Now, if you say eight in the morning, that's a no go. Eight in the morning's no go. Two in the morning's. A go. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Mm -hmm. uh, double checking right here. I, I adjusted my Discord, so we're probably. Be, I'm going to be adjusting audio volumes all around um, as we continue to play through. Okay. Um, all right, let's, uh, is everybody in roll 20? They are. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> Good, I think. You okay there? <laughs> yeah, I'm good, man. Uh, what? I, just like, there's a lot going on all over here. What's, uh, are what? Do you need help? Are I you got, okay? Like, the, I got hit in the fucking dongus by a drum dude right now. Right now. Uh, <laughs> no. well, you could have said oh, something, no. dude. Buddy, no. Yeah, well, I did. I made, like, a cough sound and then said, hey, to try to fucking, you know, what do you do, though? <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to talk about it anymore. No, Can it's... Play? Yeah, yeah. Do you need a minute? I mean, I don't want to put no, too I'm, much I'm attention cool. on this. I'm the dongus. That's I'm painful. cool. It was right in my dongus, yeah. but you know that's okay. I can I can take that. Dude. Tomato, I know you're a professional, but I mean, if we need a minute, I mean, we get Crender's eating his Indian food. We can take <laughs> no, a minute. Show I mean, go on. Go on. All right. Show must hey, so go I on. see I see the void. Is that correct right now? Uh, yes. It's mm -hmm. because I, okay. I I included your um. Uh, token, but I did not give you any vision. So now you have oh. vision and okay. you're good, which means the same's probably happening uh, with Benji right now. Is yeah, that I see the void. he's there? We go. Um, we're Dude. yeah, hold on. One I'm side. also drinking a dragon's milk. That's what does that what mean? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> is that like spicy? You milk the dragon titties? It, 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 it's a it's a it's a dark it's booze. A, it's a dark it's, it's a, a dark bourbon beer. Bourbon barrel age stout. 
It's very Dragon good. Dragon titty. Milk. It's very. Mm, it's very. I've never had it before, but I'd always see it everywhere. It's very like, tasty. It's, it's, it's very B and B drink. It's a uh, very good. It's it's sweet a little bit. It's it's. I haven't had it in years. Um, it's so. got that barrel taste. Love barrel taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All you right. So alcohol tastes like a barrel. I'm gonna drink it. <laughs> the more wood flavored, the better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is there is there a particular wood uh, flavor that you're tasting with that ale currently, or? Probably a bourbon barrel aged barrel. -aged. <laughs> you tried. I can definitely. You tried. Definitely taste it. You tried. All right, so we're just gonna dive right into it. We're jumping right in from where we left off at session zero. Now, chat. If you haven't watched session zero, it is actually over on the YouTube channel. It's absolutely wonderful. You do not need to have seen session zero to know exactly what's going on. We're we're literally about to do the briefest of recaps right here um that you'll be able to knock out uh in short the the we're gonna do uh character introductions after this as well um you all went to a lovely little goblin carnival in the middle of a humid jungly swamp land uh it was fantastic uh pikel got herself mm -hmm. which is Bree's character got herself a war with amazing animal handling roles yes, yes. um Jesse's goblin Cheezle, uh murdered a man, just just smacked him over the head with a cane and got himself a lot of tasty, delicious treats. Uh, there and, was an ant. Okay, please. And I have an ogre buddy now. You do have an ogre buddy because you did smack an ogre over the head, critical hit, and knocked him out in one hit. So now he is, yep, he's following you around. You got yourself a lovely little ogre buddy. Um, uh, Clurnt, Tomato's character, you had a lovely Hi. show. Because you wanted to be in, um, you wanted to get into the the goblin entertainment industry, and you did really well by the assistance of uh, Skagzag, uh, yeah. which is uh, Krendor's character. And uh, model, you're just, I feel like you're in the middle of a midlife crisis right now with everything that's <laughs> happening. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Two oh. kids I didn't ask for, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fucking babysitter RP. <laughs> yes. I, I, uh, I, I know that you, you wanted babysitter RP, so we made sure to make sure that that happened for you in session zero, I guess. Um, <laughs> the single bed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, everyone's got a couple of updated characters. Uh, Skagzag, don't change a thing. You're, you're beautiful just the way you are. All right, good. Um, so we, we know what happened in session zero, but now I really just want to take the opportunity to inter have you guys introduce yourselves as the player and your character as the streamer. But this scene, uh, I, I feel like this scene isn't going to do so. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on a stage right no. now and you're going to have a chance to oh, introduce God. everybody. Oh, I thought you were going to send us back to like that prison cell. No, 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 like get on stage, not back in your prison. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no prison. You know, we actually got people watching this time. So we want to make sure everything is uh, nice and set up. Are, are you guys good? Uh, is everyone OK? The, the chat's ready to go. They're they're ready. They're excited to meet everyone that's going to be a part of this campaign right now. So, uh, uh, well, why don't we go ahead and start off with uh, uh, Jesse? Why don't you step forward for the audience and uh, introduce your uh, introduce your character? Uh, are we doing this in character? Or are we just talking? Uh, you could just you could just talk, and then you could do, do in character whatever you feel like doing. You could uh, introduce yourself, and then introduce what you're playing. Go. Sure. Get I really want to force everyone else to do theirs in character, so... Okay. I'm gonna vomit if you do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm sure. it's just like, you're only making it easier for me. Uh, uh, hi, uh, my name is Jesse. I am playing Cheezel. Cheezel is a little tiny cutie pie, although he is incredibly deadly. Uh, he is the smallest of all the goblins, and thus he has a Napoleon complex that he must beat up everyone bigger than him. <laughs> because that is how he rolls. Mm -hmm. He's trying to uh, impress the chieftain of his tribe of goblins because he wants to marry the chieftain's daughter, but he's so tiny, no one takes him seriously. He um, is from a part of the peninsula where they speak in something called gobby speak, which is broken English. And uh, he is trying his very hardest but he doesn't communicate very well with the others. Aww. And um, he is uh, just a little sweetie pie. 
uh, who will kill you. Who will who will kill you and everyone else that you love uh, in order to make everyone happy. Good. And by everyone, his tribe. That's, uh, uh, and he has a staff. He has a staff that he stole from a wizard mm -hmm. that may have just been an old man. But let's, he let's take a look cool. at that staff. Let's take a look at that staff. Yes. Whoa! It's, it's wow. very very big. It's Whoa. the biggest staff ever. Um, God, according to him, so it has it has flames. <laughs> <laughs> it has flames drawn on the side of it, uh, and it's the coolest staff. And every goblin he meets agrees it is. It's true. The coolest staff they've ever seen. It's canonical. Mo most badass staff. Uh, that is that is that is absolutely correct there. Um, that is true. It is the most badass staff. Yes. Uh, all right. Well, uh, Jesse, yeah. thank you so much for introducing your character. You can uh, step back now, if you'd like. Or you can you can step forward. I mean, whatever you want to do. I mean, whatever you feel comfortable with. <laughs> it's your show. Complex is <laughs> in. Okay. Okay. We got a goblet in the audience. Uh, uh, Bree, would you like to go ahead and uh, step forward and introduce yes. yourself and your character? Ahem. Hello. Whoa. My name is Bree Bun. Get him off. I like my hype man. Uh, <laughs> Thank you so much, Cheezle. Big shout out to Cheezle. Um, I am playing Pikel. Away she you is... go! Hey, get the hell out of here! <laughs> get him! Oh. No, happy times for I'm, you! Uh, I'm going to throw up here. on Cheezle <laughs> in the front row. Just uh, let you know what's going to happen. Um, yeah, I'm playing Pikel. She is a life cleric. And she may or may not have been raised by wargs. She does not speak very good common. Uh, she doesn't know very many words in common, so she likes to speak more with her actions. Mm -hmm. um, she also likes to let her jar of pickles do the talking with their healing abilities. So yes, you heard that right. She has a jar of pickles with healing abilities <laughs> and she carries around a giant soup ladle as her staff. So. That is my girl. That's good. That's good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Bree as Pikel. Uh, next up, uh, Tomato. Why don't you introduce a little bit about your character? Hey guys, my name Tomato. Uh, I'm gonna be playing this cool, cool goblin named the Tumultuous Clerk. Mm -hmm. He's a bard, but he doesn't play very good. He just started learning how to play music a week before the campaign happened. This cool new thing where the character actually barely knows how to do his own career path. Uh, <laughs> this is pretty much the, the skill the skill I'm at right now with this cool ocarina I found yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's a lot all I can do with it. I tried to play this Legend of Zelda thing. And I couldn't even find the right notes, so I think this one might have to try right now. Yeah, well, well, you played. Right yeah, try right now. Try right now. It's a level one bard. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> Any more than that? The audience. Any more than that? The audience has gone I, silent. That's a, that's beautiful. That's absolutely wonderful. I'm actually crying right now. <laughs> Tears. Thank you. Thank you all so much. So yeah, I'm just. I'm just a goblin that really likes musical instruments. Doesn't have a lot of money anymore. Spent it pretty much all on the instruments. Mm -hmm. And is just trying to find out his, you know, true instrument. Trying to learn his, trying to learn his deal, you know? All right. All right. Well, thank you so much, Tomato. I uh, really appreciate you sharing. And also, I want to share, because I totally forgot to. I'm sorry, Pikel. Um, uh, the lovely Piquel. Uh, Piquel's oh, yes. art right there. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Abs absolutely <laughs> adorable. Just so many, so oh, many shucks. things. So many things. Uh, uh, next up, uh, uh, Benji, why don't you go ahead and uh, introduce yourself to the audience, yeah? Hello. Wait, how do I move my guy? Yeah, I'll there you go. Him. Yeah. Hi, I'm Benji or Bendrick. Um, my character's Mottle. Um, because on account of his like horribly mottled and decaying skin, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, he was assumed to be kind of like, uh, I guess, diseased or cursed or something. I don't know what goblins think in in their religions. I see um, them. I see the mottled skin right over there. Yeah, that's very good. The art. Brie actually did the art. Um, it's All right, really, Brie. It's really cool. It kind of looks like camo, which works pretty well for a rope. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, all right, all right. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, he's, uh, he, he basically got picked out of a dustbin of some kind mm -hmm. and raised to be an assassin. Um, but not in the cool, glamorous, elvish kind of way. It's mm -hmm. more of like, he's pointed at people and then he'll go for the jugular kind of thing. Okay. Um, with his two knives, he's got two knives, one called bread, one called butter. And, um, yeah, his, uh, his whole bit is that he's, he's really gullible. So like most of the people he's been asked to kill aren't necessarily bad people, but he's convinced they are. 
Um, they could be good people. They might even have families. He doesn't mm -hmm. know. He doesn't really care because he thinks they're the worst people in the world. Um, but yeah, he's a gullible guy. And, and last session, yeah, he basically became a father of two. God, uh, uh, new father. New father on the stage. Yeah, That's absolutely father. wonderful. God, yeah, yeah. Uh, be, be blessed. That's absolutely fantastic. All right, Benji, thank you so much. You can go ahead and step on back. Uh -huh. <clears throat> uh, last but certainly not least, uh, Krendor, why don't you uh, step forward and introduce your lovely character? All right, guys, what's up? It's me, Krendor, from YouTube.com slash Krendor, Twitch.tv slash Krendor, Facebook.com slash Krendor, Twitter.com slash Krendor.com. Here's my character. He is uh, Skag Zag. This is him. I've drawn him. You probably couldn't tell. You're probably like, wow, did a professional draw that? It's hard to tell. <laughs> uh, he's very veiny, but mm -hmm. he's not sure whether these are blood <laughs> blood veins or if they're like magical powers flowing through him. Or he's just really uh, strong. Maybe. He sort of does look like a pickle now that I start oh, to look at him yeah. more. Uh -oh. Oh, God. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sort of looks like a big one. Uh, he also is very buff because he performs at the Goblin Circus nonstop. He's mm -hmm. always just, he wants to perform. So he's like always working out so he can put on the best show. But he also learned magic at a young age. So now he's become a very powerful sorcerer. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, it's not about doing the, the most quality spells. It's about like getting the craziest spells. So if he right. like has to roll a 20 and you got one shot, he's going to try to roll that 20. <laughs> he's, uh, he, if, he, he's explaining you know. wild magic, everyone. And he just said, so you know, <laughs> for all the D&D <laughs> enthusiasts, and it's uh, wild mage, everyone. Wild mage right over there. He'd rather roll a one and have the wild magic occur. I mean, that's everyone. Uh, everyone wants that. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but he especially wants it because that's going to be entertaining. He just wants to entertain. So that's his big thing. Okay. All right. Well, uh, uh, step on back. Uh, this is, uh, let's give one final... <laughs> One final round of applause uh, for our Goblins of IO crew. This is gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be a real Woo! good, re real I'm good. Not, I'm not doing the sound effect. Again. Real good <laughs> D and D. Uh, you don't have I'm not to. A fucking, I'm not a fucking monkey. You clap, I'm, monkey clap. You don't have to clap. I'm just uh, every. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Oh man. Um, <laughs> all right. So, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get back into session one. Uh, as you guys remember, at the end of session zero, after your lovely celebration, a couple of goblins came running in, screaming at the top of their lungs, human, human, oh God, human, uh, and everyone started to go into a panic. So we're just going to go ahead and return to an unaltered scene that has happened right over there. Um, as you see, it's a bit of a, cha a chaotic break while we were doing your, your introductions uh, right over there. Let me get you guys over there. Yeah, so... Uh, uh, the 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 rioting and has already begun um all the goblins have begun to lose their minds you might see that there were goblins uh, all over the stage but now they have run and they have panicked because of the human sighting and uh yeah that's uh that's we've got a couple of fires going on from people literally just losing their mind so, oh my god, the production value, Brett. Holy yeah, crap. Oh my goodness. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, Dude, I it feels warm. Fire Wait, like I feel that. heat radiating off it's, my monitor. It's, it's, <laughs> I haven't seen fires like that since my 2010 video, How to Get Out of the Fire. <laughs> god damn it! <laughs> god, you can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> I can't even hear it on my side. <laughs> just guessing what the sound is. <laughs> Woo! Um, so, with that, uh, what is everybody doing? You, you of course, uh, have just signed up to join the Goblin Circus. Uh, you're about to do a, an encore performance. Uh, and now there is the, the risk of a human uh, around the area. So everyone has begun to panic. Uh, the ringleader is not pleased as he walks around forward and goes, Ah, jeez, what are we going to do? Um, what? And so with that, I give the role over to you. Uh What's everyone doing currently? Sort of a little upset. I put all my eggs in the circus basket when it looks like any second now we're all going to be killed. <laughs> yeah, I could have yeah. probably fucking chose better timing on that one, to yeah. be honest. Yeah. So yeah. Clarence probably like looking around, a little bit nervous, sort of like just running back and forth and very, like not really running, sort of clambering around, like moving stuff. <laughs> Like trying, looking around for like places. He's not a brave man or goblin, I suppose. He's sort of, a, you know, cowardly a little bit. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. panicking, I'd say. 
Okay. Uh, every, my, uh, and, yeah, feel free. My veins are popping out. They're like, they're getting <laughs> freaking crazier. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> pulsating. <laughs> yeah, they're pulsating. I'm like, humans. I hate humans. Yeah, we all hate humans. They murder goblins. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. You hate them. Uh, and he looks over to model at that point. I'm going to look at like, the the task muscle then look at Skagzak and say, Jesus bloody Christ, you're getting bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I How hate tall? humans. <laughs> <laughs> How tall is Skagzak, by the way? Um, about three foot, two to three feet, I yeah, would say. It's it's small I thought size. he was the biggest. Oh yeah, no, so well, he's like the biggest, you know. Buff wise, but like Paul wise, yeah. like, like, a, like a goblet. Story. So yeah. he's like really squat and like dense, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. You're getting bigger, but you're not that big, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Can you use those muscles, mate? Can I use them? I use them every day. All right. Gonna need to put them to work, and then I'm gonna turn around and uh, wait. Where are the humans, by the way, Brett? Oh, I mean, <laughs> you haven't seen anything. Just literally, a goblin came in screaming at the top of their lung, "Humans! Humans!" And then everyone just went into a panic. There really is no evidence okay. of a human. Uh, goblins are uh, really can reactionary. I, can I use perception then to look around for for any humi signs? Oh uh, yeah, and absolutely. What all the fire? Uh, well, when we were doing introductions, uh, the goblins goblins started. Uh, looting everything and caused a bunch of fires in the area and now they've moved on to a different <laughs> okay. location all right uh so i use perception yeah uh yeah feel free uh you right. spot uh a circus that has fallen apart um and really no other goblins uh in the area they seem to have retreated off into the south all right i see no humans i don't believe it I think this is a fucking, this is a griff. They're trying to take us for one. I hate humans. I, I hate humans I, as well. I'm still sort of pacing around like. <laughs> all right, all right. Like, hey, 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 calm down over there, okay? I, I'm fine. I, I'm fine, sir. I'm fine. All right, all right. He's going to like wobble a little bit. He doesn't handle pressure and stress that while he's wobbling. This could be a silly trick or there could actually be a human uh, in the village. Either way, that's going to be a problem. However... My main man over here is going to take care of it. And he walks over to Cheezel and then pats Cheezel on the back. Cheezel looks up and uh, grins, a wicked grin, and then scampers up the side of his big ogre pal onto his shoulder and mm -hmm. says, Big folk, shiny seekers, ugly ogletonis, make ready, take long walk for big folk goodbye times. Uh, the ogre slowly <laughs> nods, understanding your command. Where go? Smash whack bonk brain cases! Mm. And uh, he begins to walk over in the direction where smashy good times is supposed to happen. Um, I'm on his shoulder, with, so I'm, yeah, going, I'm it, master blasting my way over. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> while he's walking away, what is everybody doing at that? Pico, what are you doing? Your, uh, your, your little warg pup it does not like the fire. Uh, she's trying to calm bit. it down, so she, she's petting it and kind of whispering little things in its ear. Um, mm -hmm. She doesn't really understand what everyone's so freaked out about, so she's just smiling and looking around at the fire <laughs> like it's pretty. <laughs> it's part of the show. Yeah. <laughs> where, where, where's he going? Uh, the ring leader seems very confused, and he looks to everybody else. Uh, um, what is everybody uh, doing at this point? The ogre, along with Cheezel, seems to be walking off to the south right now. Uh, I'm gonna just sort of, I sort of like, like crouch behind this, this, I'm this a car. I don't know where any of this stuff is that's going on. I'm gonna fucking like survey the area from a safe distance for a while here. So I think I just sort of pop a squat behind this. Okay. Stall. Um, the, uh, the, the ringmaster will kind of like approach you and says, hey, Hey. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, there, there. Hey, don't speak there. up on me like that, hey, sir. Hey. You know. <laughs> you get scared easily? I mean, look at me. I, he looks. I'm assuming you just look at me, and you'd already know the answer to that. Just yeah. looking at me. Look at me. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Not a, I'm not a tough guy. I'm a nah. fucking like, walking pile of drums. No, no, you're not. You're not. Honestly, I don't know how you're walking around with all Is those it, instruments. It, 
it's not even that I'm afraid of getting hurt. It's that I, I, I get hit anywhere. Something's going to get damaged. You know how expensive most of this stuff is. It could cost me most of my money to get one of these things fixed. No, what is, how do I fix one of these things? Uh, well, you know, I don't fucking... <laughs> well, I mean... I don't know. How much did you, did you, did you pay for all that to begin with? Uh, an, an amount... An amount of money. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. Look, look, look. Hey, first of all, you got to look at the bright side, all right? Things are in a panic, so we could probably find you more instruments while no one's looking. Oh, that's a... That's a good... That's a good fucking point, sir. That's a really good point. Yeah, this is the best time for goblins, eh? I start I start looting the cart like this one right now. All right, don't loot over... That's it. my cart, you okay? You don't uh, loot uh, when I'm uh, looting. All right, all right, all right, all right. The next one, the next one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go down I, south, I, I, okay? I start walking down. Jeez. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, uh, Model and Piquel. So what are, what are the two of you doing right now? Um, I just walk over to Pickle and say, "You're right, Pickle." Good is is uh work protect family oh. protect. Yeah, I'm sure it's gonna protect you after knowing it for literally five minutes. Um, she scowls at you and looks like <laughs> angry you would even suggest that. Oh, you did understand that then? Okay, good to know. <laughs> I'm trying to figure things out a little bit still. I'm not too sure. Uh. Stay behind me. We're going to go follow these guys. Maybe see what's causing all this commotion. Uh, okay, it's follow. Uh, it's follow. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Chisel, <laughs> as, as the ogre is slowly walking with you on his shoulders, is there, are you doing anything or are you just riding along? Um, Yeah, Chisel is <laughs> singing a Chisel song mm -hmm. that goes like... Uh, Please. Much make happy times. Smacky wacky bashy times. No more tomorrow days for fleshy big folk. Uh, uh, Beautiful. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh, at that point, Dungo like will give jealous. Dungo will give a, a little nod. Oh yeah, you hear that like sung it's off like in the distance while like you're walking. In the dirt as he walks along. <laughs> the taskmaster oh. kind of whispers, <laughs> "Oh, he can sing too. Wow!" As he continues walking, <laughs> it's real natural. <laughs> uh, as you guys walk by, uh, you see this goblin kind of like scatter off a little bit. Um, uh, there's still the dead puffer fish salesman over there. He's starting to get a little, little bit of flies around him. His head bashed in from uh, Big Boomstick. Uh, as uh, yeah, Jesus just singing off and just uh, heading off to the south. All right. Uh, so you guys are heading south. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, slowly. Okay. Let's get you. Let's get you over there. Uh, so you guys arrive over in the in the south area. Let me get everybody over here. Yep. <laughs> Uh, which is more of uh, more the same, uh, more of the village at this point in time. Uh, not not as many fires um, a, a, as as you would expect with a giant sort of like uh, riot happening with everyone just fearing the uh, the potential human or humans at this point uh, that may be in the area. Uh, so. Yeah, just let me know what you guys do. You guys are all free to move around the map. Uh, you guys are free to explore a little bit as well. Uh, if you want to, like, if you if you actually are going to start stealing stuff, um, you can, like, head into huts. They may have things you for know, you. I start beelining it towards that hut, but not fast. Sort of like a cautious walk. Like a, like a respectful <laughs> sort of like thing. I basically, Clark's not naturally a criminal, but he was just given, like, the green light from a person he trusts and yeah. respects. So, like, he is going to fucking... Like get started there, I think. Uh, okay. Uh, what is uh, what is everybody else doing? Can I stealth behind Clint based on his amount of instruments on his body? Uh, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> uh, roll a stealth check if you'd like. Nice, uh, that's cool. Yeah, you can let uh, and then to you can let know if a thirteen is good enough to continue to like stealth up upon you as you can t begin to uh. <laughs> There's an awful lot of instrument there, dude. If he's not like <laughs> big, like Skagzak big, he's probably good. <laughs> right. I'm literally like behind you, and I'm gonna 
walk behind you as you turn and etc etc i'm just gonna stick <laughs> it's like a perfect shadow <laughs> yeah. clear. oh jesus uh so as you decide to uh go in the hut it's i mean it's a mess it's a assorted amount of barrels and crates that have literally been taken from uh previous areas and villages uh at this point you probably would would have figured out and known uh that this was once uh, upon a time uh, a just a normal village of of humans and elves and things like that that the goblins have sort of routed out at this point in time um but a couple of things have been kept uh from the previous occupants uh including the following if you would just like to spend a minute looting around the area i will give you a, a list uh, and then at that point in time, what what do you uh, what's the rest of you guys doing? Singing loudly, marching forward to find humans, and I'm <laughs> following them, and I'm just walking, being like, I hate humans. It's my <laughs> thing. Uh, He's got Pico one line. Be... He hates humans. <laughs> <laughs> she'd be following along too. She'd be uh, slamming her soup ladle on the jar of her pickle lid to make a beat as Cheezle sings. <laughs> okay. Human. I hate humans. <laughs> well, uh, model, do you kind of like follow behind as well? No, I'm sticking to Clunt. Well, Clunt has gone inside the hut. Would you also have gone inside I the hut? I would also go. Everywhere uh. Clunt goes, I'm going right now to see what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> That's fair. And if he's going to find anything, I'm going to find it too. That's fair. That's absolutely fair. Um, okay. Uh, Clunt, you will have found the following things. Uh, the first thing you notice as you come in here is a giant cow, which is sort of mooing uh, with oh, a geez. bell on its, around its neck. <laughs> oh. um. This is a big house. This is a big house. How'd you get... What? Apparently, uh, the goblins thought to uh, take care of the uh, cow and perhaps get some free milk in. If cow dies, free meat. I, uh, right. I walk up to him. I check for cow bell. Uh, check for cowbell. Uh, check go. If he has any cowbell. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, let's go ahead and let fate decide. Uh, roll a d20. Oh boy, here we go. So that's uh, slash roll d20. Yeah. Uh, 15. There is indeed a cowbell around the neck of the cow. Excellent. I grab it and I deposit it somewhere where he will not be able to use it for the rest of the session because I in fact, <laughs> do not own a cowbell. <laughs> <laughs> Add it to the list. Add it to the list. Uh, we will say the cowbell is missing the chime part that actually makes it cowbell. Shit, basically worthless now. It's yeah. basically trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll have to do a little bit of repair. Make a little thing with it, I guess. <laughs> is that anything? I look at models. Is that anything? Uh, Can you see me? Do you know I'm there? I, I, I mean, I've been here. I've been smelling you, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> so like I think there's someone there, and, uh, and then if I turn around, there's no one there. Then so be it, you know. Uh, um, model, do you have I a will... stench? Do I have a stench? Yeah, I probably have a pretty bad stench. Right, I'll say, you're uh, there. You're yeah, there. sounds great, and I'll tap my knives together like that. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Um, <laughs> so Go along on. the way, you actually find uh, a man. You find a bunch of treasures here. Uh, you find a uh, an amber, a small amber. Uh, within, uh, underneath the pillow of one of the goblins. Uh, you actually find a breastplate, which could not fit on a goblin, um, but may be worth some value. Uh, it's heavy, 20 pounds, uh, but worth some money. <laughs> <laughs> this thing's got some kind to it, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I throw that on the top of my bag. You, f my you find what was once a, a beautiful set of gold vestments cloth of gold vestments that has now been since soiled. Uh, I won't go more into detail with that. Um, and uh, a gold-plated sextant. Listen, this is trash. I can't, I can't play music with this. Sorry, I walk by him. Uh, model? What is a sextant? Is that the, the navigation thing yep. at sea? Or yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah. I don't understand what it is. It looks scary. It's also I'm gonna... super horny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I also don't know what it's called, so I don't know that it's horny. So I'm just going to push it over well, uh, it and then follow clan. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so, yeah, if uh, as you as the rest of you, I'll, I'll kind of move you along a little bit. Um, move south. You will actually see you guys kind of like move around there. Um, <laughs> You can, you see the warg tamer from before, who's looking around in a bit of a panic. Uh, what do you guys do? 
I say, I hate human. Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I hate humans to you too. What's up? And he kind of like holds his hand out of there at that point. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm looking for my pups. They all freaked out when all the goblins started going crazy about a human being around here. Humans? Yeah, I hate humans. <laughs> I've been looking around for the pups. I can't find them anywhere. Uh, did you check over there? I say as I point over here. Uh, yeah. Uh, use your if you want to move your use your mouse clicker and and hold the mouse button down. You can actually make a little signal to show where you're pointing. Whoa, technology. Like, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, I guess I haven't. He'll uh, he'll begin to walk over. <laughs> Just look around. <laughs> nah, yeah, see him. nah, he ain't here. All right, try over there. All right. And just begins looking around. Uh, what is the rest of you doing? Does this does this goblin appear to need actual help? Uh, you can make an insight check just to just figure figure out if like he's he needs I help. I would love to see. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Feel free. <laughs> uh, with that insight <laughs> roll, uh, yeah, he he appears to be genuine in genuine need of help. Uh, yeah, I shout down from on top of my ride. Uh, uh, Gobby, I snoop for babies for Gobby friend. Give Stony Shine a tasty fish reward. Huh? Yeah, yeah, sure. I don't uh, know what that kid's saying. Did you check over there? Uh, <laughs> he walks over and he's like, hey, I'll, I'll look. I'll, hey, look, I'll look. I'll look in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll check it out in a minute. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming you're you saying give tasty fish. Oh, I don't have tasty fish. Uh, but yeah, I got something that you might want. Yeah, sure. What stony shine have? Uh, definitely some shiny stones. That's a good way to put it. Okay. <laughs> I smash bash. Okay, don't smash them. All right, they're, they're just pups. No smash bash pup. Now don't smash bash. Uh, just, 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 you know, bring him back over here, yeah? I drag, yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, he looks around in a bit of a in a bit of a panic. Uh, uh, no, no, no. Uh, and he points over to Pikel. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, yo, uh, li little girl, uh, how would you bring a pup back? He's look for puppy. Yeah. Uh, she's gonna try to animal handling check with her warg to try to communicate since she was raised by wargs <laughs> to go find the other pups. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and see that animal handling. Oh, oh my god. Uh, god. At the this hell? point in time, Pico begins doing a, a combination of grunts, growls, and barks. <laughs> and uh, the warg uh, loyally nods and begins to smell around. Did you check over there? Uh, right, uh, right uh, over here. Actually, that's a, that's a good idea. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Your your your, your, your dog does that. I'll look around here. Yeah, good good thinking. Man, you're smart. Yeah, you're hey, so I'm smart. Before. <laughs> and uh, the taskmaster goes, "Oh, wait, what? I don't pay you to be smart. In fact, they don't pay me at all. <laughs> that's true." <laughs> But uh, I do it. I love this place, man. But you know what I hate? Humans. Yeah, dude. That means I, I hate them. Paid. Hey, um, where are the humans? <laughs> I think we're still looking around for them. Uh, the warg pup will begin to howl and bark over here. Okay. Pikel's gonna run over. Her pigtails flying behind her as she does. One of the pups appears to be stuck under some rubble. Okay, she's gonna um, see this and turn around to the group and bang really loudly against her pickle jar with the ladle 
He's here. He's here. He's need help. Please. Oh, Ugly I mean, ogre Thomas. We go. We go. And he just, yeah, begins big, big flat footed steps, begins walking over uh, around here. And uh, he sees the, uh, the the pile of wood and he's just looking down. Not really sure what to do at this point. Wait, what's he's trapped under the wood? Yeah, he's trapped. He's trapped oh. under the wood a little bit. All right, can I turn that wood into a different shape? <laughs> uh, no, not with the spells that you have. All right. This cat's Thomas, you lift. <laughs> lift. And uh, yeah, he begins moving around the uh, the pile of rubble. And then the pup uh, gets out unharmed. He's safe. And then He's um, okay? immediately begins running away. Bye, puppy. <laughs> that was a way better idea than me. I was about to blast that thing. He's no blast. No. Uh, the yeah, war. The ward oh. tamer will begin to chase after the uh, the ward. <laughs> um, all right. At this point, Florence and oh. Model. Uh, how do you guys leave the hut? Can I can I tumble <laughs> out? <laughs> can I see this? <laughs> uh, if you're looking th if you're looking through the windows, yes, you can. No, can I see him in front of me and try to like tap him on the back? For his attention, but I suppose my hand collides with some form of instrument when I try to do so. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, feel free to make the attempt. Possibly a tambourine. I don't know. Maybe I aim for the tambourine. Clerk, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are you oh, doing? Jesus, what are you? <laughs> what are you... Oh, sorry, sorry. I was trying to, I was trying to be respectful. I want to see what you were doing. Well, you, you that was really. What, what, what is it? What is it? I, th I saw you steal that bell from a cow. That was pretty the cow cool. doesn't need it anymore. He's as good as dead. Look at him. I agree. I'm into it. I like I, stealing. I don't know they got him in this room. Like the door does. There's no clearance for that. Precisely. I don't actually know exactly how you got into that room with all that shit on your back. The window was <laughs> wide enough. <laughs> and so was the door. We, we, got, we got to get moving. All right. I start, yeah, I stumble, we do. Like I said, I stumble out the door. Okay. I'm just gonna quizzically follow him stumbling Top around. Heavy, like I have momentum, I would say. I sort of have to pick my destination because I got a lot of <laughs> top-heavy like momentum just building. I look Can around. I... I look around. I want to see what there is like in in this sort of deal. Yeah, absolutely. Um, there is a goblin here who looks over at you stumbling around and uh, pulls out a shiv. Oh. Roll initiative. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank God I decided to follow you. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, that's a cool aid. Sometimes that's goblins just too. start fights. That's just how it works. <laughs> <laughs> All right, give me everything you got. <laughs> um. All right. Let me just go ahead and make sure we're there. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, okay, uh, model, you're first. Um, what's my movement again? 30? Mm -hmm. uh, each square's five? Yep. Dude, this okay. kind of sounds like Paper Mario battle music. It does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Uh, I'm gonna say, hold on, Claire, I'll, I'll take care of this. And then I'm, I'm gonna pull out. towards him, I'd say. Like, I've still got the momentum from before, so yeah. I've got quick still moving. <laughs> yeah. I've got to, like, limbo <laughs> under his side a little bit to get around him. And then I'm gonna walk straight up to the goblin, and just poke uh, with with bread. It's it's not sharp. It's very painful because it's blunt, but it's okay. like jagged as well. Okay. Um, and uh, how the hell do I do this again? <laughs> uh, so on your D and D Beyond character sheet, there should be a red. Hey, there it is. Perfect. Aww, uh, that's a critical oh, miss. Buddy. You just kind of stumble with the uh, oh, bread a little bit. The goblin <laughs> goes. This What's is gonna be word? easy. I could do this. Free money. <laughs> Um, do you attack with your offhand weapon at all? Wait, can I attack twice? Uh, if you've got two weapons that you're using, yeah, you can attack with your offhand. I have two daggers, yeah. Yeah, bread and butter. Attack with butter. Uh, that will, uh, actually deflect, uh, he'll deflect it off with his shiv. Holy crap. And he, he... Uh, don't, don't worry about that, clone. I could do better, oh, I promise. still tumbling, man! <laughs> <laughs> and... Is it, is it my turn? Uh, my not turn? so. 
So th th this is the events that happen uh, because uh, turns essentially go all at the same time. Um, so you go in for the attack. You miss both times. Uh, he just goes in straight with the, the shiv because uh, he asked for your money. You didn't give it to him. So now he's going to sh gonna shiv you uh, with a 10, which I don't believe breaks your armor class. Uh, and, nope. th and at that point in time, uh, Clurnt is just going to stumble forward with his instruments that he can barely uh control uh yeah so uh tomato go on i would say the stumble is now this has been so shocking for clerk the stumble is essentially uncontrollable i'm just gonna barrel into him yep with that's stranding oh, the instruments yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> like my, my, my drumstick in hand okay and i just sort of like Ugh, i like fucking full weights just like almost trying to catch myself but the drums are still in my hand just like towards him all right okay and let me find where that is, my drum stick. Your drum stick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> there it is. Nobody has a weapon, by the way. Everyone just has random things. I love yeah. it. <laughs> how do I how do I roll this? Um, I've never rolled like a weapon before. Oh no, that's cool. Uh, so you go to D and D Beyond, uh in the character the weapon sheet. Yeah, I'm on be... I'm on the item. It's uh, a, it's yeah, a so... light hammer. So uh, click the, uh, are you in your inventory or in your weapons? I'm in my inventory in the equipment section. Ah, uh, gotcha. You're gonna wanna go over to the first tab of your character sheet. Let me go and load that up real quickly. Um, so it should be in the middle section. Uh, go to actions instead of your equipment tab, go to actions. And then you should have a, a weapon there like drumstick. I have unarmed strike there. I think my character is cursing. I think your character is. Yeah, we'll we'll go and figure it out. Do an unarmed strike for now. Okay. And then we'll fucking miss with it. Just hit oh no no yeah, we'll still say my fist. We'll still say it's the hammer. We'll still say it's the hammer, and we'll roll the damage separately, and then we'll fix that before okay, so uh, next hit, time. Uh, I just did a hit slash DC. Yep. Roll for this. Yep. Uh, that hits. You literally go tumbling in with all of your instruments. You can barely keep control as you then just slam your. And what do you uh, what do you hit the goblin with of all your variety of things? Uh, it's like it's like his he's got a, like a bass like you know a bass drum like yeah a big fucking bass drum like the big like weird mallet with like the cotton tip yeah it's like one of those things that's like thunk, sort of thing okay with like, with like a lot of fucking sound at the same time uh, go again, he's still clambering go ahead and do a slash roll one d eight and then and what's your strength modifier? Uh, at, uh, oh, it's minus one. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just do a, a slash 1d8 minus one for now. Uh, and you deal six points of damage to the goblin. Uh, and immediately as, so this is what happens. You come in, you can barely hold on. He's getting into a knife and shiv fight uh, with Model. It's just this flourish of knives and weapons all over the place. They're dodging, they're moving, it's beautiful. And suddenly, uh, 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 it's, it's suddenly Clurt is like, you know, look out! And you begin tumbling over with all your instruments. You run over this goblin with all of your instruments uh, and then immediately uh, break his neck and he dies right there on the spot. <laughs> Oh my god! Do you see that? Do you see that? Oh. I'm gonna look up my knives and be like, what the fuck? I'll be, I'll be like, I think I've like fallen onto him. At yeah, so right, yeah, absolutely. Away. You're I'll prone. Like, I'm, I'm like fucking like a turtle again. Yeah, you're prone. He's so. dead. I'll, I'll pick, I'll give pick me, Clint give up. Give me off come me on, off. come on. I got you, buddy. It's okay. <laughs> that was impressive. Holy crap. Yes, it was all my plan. <laughs> I didn't know you could wield fucking instruments like that holy fuck yes it was all of it was i i saw it i saw it coming you know i had to i had to do something you were you were in danger he i am thoroughly tripped. impressed wow i tripped on a rock i'm gonna look at the dead the <laughs> broken neck goblin um also tomato i went ahead and equipped um your dagger and drumstick if you go over to the equipment there's some check boxes when you click those check boxes it counts as uh it counts as equipped I've also, oh, okay. and then I equipped your leather armor, so your AC is now 14 instead of 13. All right, Rat. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I was also good. naked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were naked the whole first session. <laughs> um, all right, so. <laughs> Can I loot him? Uh, yeah, absolutely. You can ruff, ruffle through his uh, pockets, whatever you want. Do I roll something? Do you roll No, no, no. You just, you just all right, he's dead. I will dead. ruffle through thoroughly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Uh, you get a rusted shiv. Which does literally okay. 1d4 piercing damage at that point nice. in time. 
Uh, you get uh, what appears to be a miscellaneous lint. And uh, roll a d20 for me. Let's see how if he actually looted anything before it got to you guys. Uh, no, you were the first ones. He thought this would be a great idea. Easy money, easy loot. Gonna w step in. These guys look like bumbling fools just walking out of a hut. They must have had gotten some sort of loot. Uh, but that was his last thought, as you have straight up murdered this goblin. Oh my okay. god. I, this is Clark's first time taking a life. Oh my god. So he didn't even, it wasn't really a plan. He just sort of stumbled in there. I think he's sort of going through like a couple of things right now in his head, like, like looking around. Did, was this, was this my fault? What ha what was this? Yeah, you killed him. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I sort of hoping you wouldn't exactly say it like that, but yeah, I guess I did. You're a natural. <laughs> Is there anything else in the area that I should be that I should know about for, for get away from model forever? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you're free to to, to look around. Uh, you know what the huts look like, so you're free to look at there. You do see a couple of goblins uh, running around over here. They may or may not be as murderous as the one that you fought against. Um, <laughs> Switching to everyone else real quick guys you hear the, the loud commotion of cymbals uh, drums and uh, You know a bunch of just instruments slamming together You can come to a conclusion what that is, but what alarms you is the scream. Oh god. He's dead. Oh god He's dead uh, from over from the, the Northeast oh god. <laughs> As uh, it is the it is the panic screams of a goblin What the hell are humans dead? I hate humans. <laughs> Copy friend in trouble? He's hate humans. She like, copies Skagzak. She um, follows. <laughs> oh no, you leave me behind, the big ugly. Uh, so for uh, <laughs> uh, for simplicity's sake, and then I'm actually going to make a token of you riding this goblin later on, uh, or riding this <laughs> ogre. We're going to say the ogre is there, but we're going to use our imagination. So, uh, so as you move, uh, the ogre's moving with you, and then I'll uh, pl put the like, have the ogre walk out of you RPG style whenever you get to a stopping point. <laughs> Good uh, brain spark. <laughs> thanks. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, you come back. You literally see a goblin on the ground. Um, Clark, did you ever get? Did Clark ever get back up? I picked him up. He pulled okay. me up. Okay, uh, you see a goblin laying on the ground, but his head appears to be in the other direction. Oh. He's not human? Uh, oh, no, no, it isn't, it isn't human. He's dead. It took a bit of a tumble on, uh, on him. This one. Oh, wait, do I know this guy? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, shit. <laughs> roll, roll a you d20. Last time. Roll a All d20 right. if you know this guy. Oh, no. I even Clint. No. <laughs> you mean the dead couple? <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You don't know that guy. You don't know that right. guy. Ah, uh, well, you know, it's not a human, but I don't I'd, know. I'd, I'd at least like to, you know, give him a little something in his memory after what I just did to him. Uh, don't waste you your know. time. <laughs> give him some. Give him He's a dead. moment of silence. Yeah, just, uh, yeah. It's good. <laughs> Let him celebrate his first kill. Come on. Oh, oh, okay. All right. What else? <laughs> I don't even remember the rest. <laughs> that was beautiful. I don't even know the rest of the song. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh, that was absolutely. Uh... I mean, a tragedy has happened here today, but you know, these things happen. Uh, and while he's saying these, this, he's leaning down to ruffle through the goblin's pockets. Uh, yeah, you know, accidents happen. Uh, you know, fortunately, we don't really care if you kill. Uh, you know, you must have done it for a good reason. And hey, you know, good on you. I'm really glad that uh, this guy got nothing. And then he just stops what he's saying and then walks back to everybody else. <laughs> um... So, a moment of silence uh, falls over the group. What do you all do? Yeah, so, uh, where are the humans? Yeah, we haven't really seen many humans, eh? Yeah, they're supposed uh, to be humans. Don't think they're real. What if this is some some goblin prank? Prank? Yeah, I just I thought there could be I don't think a goblin would prank. 
<laughs> goblins are honest creatures. We're goblins. You you saying that we're not honest? I could see half of you doing this prank. I could I could see you doing the prank. I, I, I'm sorry. What? Uh, the moment Clarence says that, the taskmaster gets shifty eyed and starts looking around. Which one of you did it? I didn't. We know what we know. Was it me? Maybe it was you. I was with you the whole time. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, we were all with you the whole time. We were oh, all yeah. by the stage. Yeah, okay. Well, Maybe it was you. That, it wasn't exactly a question of any of you. I was just saying I feel like any goblin could have done it. So. Right, right, right. <laughs> right, right. Uh, okay, well, all right, yeah. Hey, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Cheezel, yeah. Cheezel. Is that your name? I, Cheezel. Jesus, what do you see from up on the uh, the big guy? Uh, can I roll for what I see? Uh, yeah, you can make a perception check to kind of like spot. How big is that ogre? Uh, uh, he's Brett? about uh, 10, 11 feet tall. Way so he's fucking that. huge to us. Yeah, 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 yeah <laughs> absolutely. Uh, Cheezel, you look around, you see a little bit of fire and smoke and goblins punching each other and taking stuff away from huts, you know, going in huts coming out with just a, an assortment of, of trash and, and junk. Um, but you see two sparks of light um, approaching from the eastern path. No spot big folk, oh, but too light, too bright, shiny. Shiny? Okay, now we're talking. What kind of shiny, kid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No shiny seeker. Uh, my brain case. No. What the hell's that mean? It's far. <sighs> All right, let's what? just let's just go check it out. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go check it out. I, I mean, I I, I like shinies. The uh, Skagzag, you a fan of shinies? A big fan of shinies. Okay, let's go. Let's uh, let's go go see what the shiny thing is. The kid's talking about. Hey, keep, right. keep it up, kid. And then the ogre absorbs itself yeah, within uh, Cheezel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to make that sound effect every time. Absolutely, oh. I'm, I'm ready to do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, as you guys are walking over to the east, uh, you see this guy kind of like, you know, scatter off. Uh, you see uh, a shining light coming over from, from, from this direction. And it's getting a it's getting a, a little brighter. Oh, there it is. Hey, let's go that way. Yeah, if you uh, take the lead, Skagzag or Chizo. Hello, yeah, I guess. <laughs> still, Clarence still going through some things after. Yeah. Oh. There. I think he's gonna take it a little slow for a while. Uh, this Multiple is so proud of Clarence. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this, this goblin over here eyes over at Clarence. And he's not doing it, but Clarence imagines that he's shaking his head disappointingly. <laughs> I, I, oh. Walking up. I'm making eye contact with anyone anymore, dude. He's just staring at the ground. Um, <laughs> at that point, you see that the shiny thing. I need everyone to stop moving now. <laughs> I was gonna catch up everyone. But <laughs> your head's drooping. You're walking well, slow. All your instruments are banging as you're slowly trying to catch up with the group. You're like, ding, ding, ding. You're like, he's, he's coming. He's coming. Uh, I'll say he's back here. I'll say it's and the uh, the light starts getting a, a little bit brighter. You realize at this point in time, this isn't. An object, or, or, or like a gemstone, or anything of that nature. No, no. It's, it's, it's apparent. It is something. And Cheezel, and, hey, hey, move back, Skagzag. I saw you move forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's, he's next to you. Can see the goblin. Yeah, he's riding over here. Um, you see, you're the first to see what it is, and then you open your eyes in sheer horror as two goblins who are on fire come screaming yelling at oh. you guys roll initiative oh. everybody my oh jeez uh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> as they're charging down the the charging down the, the, oh, down the path far back. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Hold on, where's the initiative at? It's over, uh, it's over below proficiency. So if you look at the top of your uh, character right. sheet with uh, the stats, yeah, 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 yeah. make Wait, sure your yeah. token is selected. I accidentally rolled initiative for my wolf. I assume I do that that's on okay. my That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. And how do I click the... Oh, no, I reformatted my computer and my rolled uh, web add-on's gone. You reformatted oh, the... Oh. My what's God. the uh, set add-on? Uh, beyond 20. Oh. I should have left the link right over there. Well, well, well. well. Here we are once again, friends. <laughs> <laughs> how is the Indian, though? Yeah, how Very. is the Indian good? Very good Indian food. As oh. well as this dragon aged bourbon barrel. Oh, skag zag. <laughs> All right. Um, What's your uh, right. dexterity? Uh, poo. Uh, okay. You'll, uh, while you're installing it, you can do uh, manual rolls with slash roll. Uh, for now, uh, I will. Is it okay if I roll and it for you? Uh, yeah, you can roll it. All right. I rolled a five. All right, that's a terrible roll. You're never rolling for that. That gives you time to in, it gives you time to install it, though, huh? Yeah, it does. It'll get you yeah. time to get the D&D beyond there. Uh, okay, uh, Cheezel, uh, the ogre will share initiative with you if you want to tell him to move or attack or anything like that. Uh, what do you uh, What do you do, Cheezel? Let me get this straight. The only two things that are threatening coming at us are two on fire goblins. Yep, and they're running straight towards you. Sure. Yeah, uh, Cheezle looks down at the others. Oh, Jesus. And says, uh, No big fuck? So no smashy? Make bread, bad brain spark. Smash all times, all folks. And I jump at them with my staff to bash them dead. Uh, okay. Uh, do you have enough movement? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can have, uh, the ogre move up one so you can hop off. Um, so you can get to the 30 feet. If you'd like to do that. Uh, yes. All right. Go for the attack. Oh, I will. Oh, I forgot to roll initiative for these guys. Let me do that right now. They have a, a very unique name. All right. We've got everything there. Perfect. Uh, okay. So you rolled a 19. That hits. Uh, for nine damage. Uh, okay. Let me get that. Uh, you smack them, and they just... <laughs> ah! Ah! God! Why are you hitting me? <laughs> Peek, Ellis, your turn. Um... So these guys are running at us, not looking to attack us? They're just... All you see, all, all you see are two goblins on fire. Okay. Screaming in pain tagging. and now huh. getting getting smacked with a uh, <laughs> with a stick. We are psychos, aren't we? Pigel's gonna hold turn. She's gonna <laughs> she's um she'll like hold sacred flame if she sees anything actually uh, threatening. Okay. Enter. So yeah. Okay. Uh, model, it's your turn. <laughs> I'm also gonna hold turn and yell out, "Go on, Cheezel, put out the flames!" <laughs> <laughs> What does Wolf do? Uh, sh Wolf will obey Pikel, so stay. She's on him still. Okay, uh, this goblin will <laughs> run over and uh, 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 grab at, at Cheezel going, Help me! Help me, please! Oh, God, I'm on fire! Uh, and do a panic grab. Uh, does an 11 <laughs> break through your armor class? Oh it does not, no. Okay, uh, and that's all it does. Uh, also, at the beginning of this uh, goblin's turn, it takes 1d4 points of damage because it is on fire. <laughs> 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 all right, Clern, it's your turn. <laughs> Clern's gonna just go let this ride, dude. I'm gonna hang out back here, I reckon. <laughs> I'm gonna take it a little bit closer to the fence or like peer over it and just sort of like, you know. Observe. I feel like that's sort of the play. Here. Okay. <laughs> I'm All not right. gonna make it there. Uh, <laughs> it's, 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 hang out. Skag, did you get the uh, Beyond Twenty installed? Yeah, I got it working. Yay! All right. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, can I use Prestigenation to create some sort of no, like right? or a chill square? 
Uh, Presidigation would not be able to extinguish the fires unless you get right up. Let's see. Uh, chill. You can chill. Yeah, you can chill at one cubic foot of non-living material for one hour. You will need to... One action. You'll need to get 10 feet away from the goblin. All right. Let's let it... Uh... How do I measure distances again? Uh, Two each, squares are 10 feet. Yeah, each square is five feet. Then you have a movement of 30 feet per round. All right, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Oh, you getting up close? Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just, uh, yeah. All right, so you don't have to roll uh, anything. Uh, what are you doing currently? Oh. You're just icing the area? Yeah, I'm icing it. Okay. Uh, one foot begins to ice over gently. It does Can nothing for the fire. Magic for, uh, just for fun. N no. <laughs> All right. <laughs> just, just wait, ready just to blow up the party. You got to earn those wild magic rolls. Um, right. Okay. And that ends your turn. Yeah. Uh, it does nothing for the fire. All this, right. this goblin, who, like I mentioned before, is on fire, also goes over to Chisel and tries to, to shake him. Did anything, please, for the love of God, get me out, out of fire. Uh, with a 19, does a 19 break your armor class? He got me, yeah. Uh, you take one point of bludgeoning damage as a goblin tackles you, uh, and you are now set on fire. Oh. As you begin to also light on Jeez, fire. Look at them over there. <laughs> the hell? I'm like squinting. I can uh, I'm far away, right? Yes. Uh, and then with that, uh, the goblin takes four points of damage for being on fire and falls over dead, a, a, a burned husk at this point. Uh, and now Cheezel is a goblin on fire. Oh my Jeez. God, you're on fire. That's awesome. Uh, Cheezel, uh, roll a 1d4 and you take that much fire damage while you're on fire. Really? Yeah. Uh, four yeah, points of fire damage. Over there. <laughs> As you are now on fire. Now, of course you can try and Spend a round to bat the fire off if you'd like. If you've got the, you know, the mental capacity or calm, you, you can do anything you want to try and get yourself off, off fire. It's actually pretty simple. Um, but now it's your turn. Cheezel oh. um, will recognize that uh, because his staff has flames on it, and that was super cool, mm -hmm. that him being on fire it's himself must in fact be super cool. Okay. Oh, no. And so he turns to Skagzag and says, Good skin! Excellent! Best prize? Friendship! And I try to set Skagzag on fire. Too. Uh, <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead and make an unarmed attack. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, you do so successfully. Uh, oh Skagzag, you take three points of damage, if you All if right. you wish, Cheezel. Uh, but you are definitely on fire at this point. Uh, both Skagzag uh, and Cheezel yes, are wish, lit on fire. I wish to damage him for three points, yes, please. Okay, you take three <laughs> points of damage as this tiny, surprisingly strong goblin tackles you uh, in an offering of friendship. But like a hug, it's like a hug like a tackle. Hug. Yeah, he goes for a hug. This yeah. definitely isn't an a, 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 a offensive like action. Strong. And I like hell him away. Uh, you will have to wait until your round. Oh, all your right. turn. Best prize friendship! Uh, ah. all right. Uh, at I've that point. For 11 months. Skag Sack's now on fire. Uh, Pikel, <laughs> what do you do? Uh, she's watching this and she looks to Mottle next to her. He's, he's fun? No, it's not fun. I think he's gone crazy. Go help him. Oh, um, she's gonna hesitantly go forward or like get her ward to take her forward. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, you can move 40 feet while you are right on the ward. Okay, I think to there. Mm -hmm. Um, that's as far as I can go this round. So. Okay. Can you dash? Uh, yeah, but then I can't do an action. So. That's true. <laughs> and then I'm in the fire. Uh, yeah, and then I'm on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> I don't really want that. Model. Uh, I'm gonna dash. Uh. I'm gonna to stick to this side. 40, 20. I'm gonna dash right there. Was there? There. Okay. And that's my turn. Uh, all right. Does the wolf, uh, besides move, do anything else? Uh, no, because she's riding it still, I imagine. So. 
Okay, uh, at this point in time, the goblin's just looking at two other goblins, now on fire, giving a big scream. Uh, you can't help. So it's just gonna run over to this goblin over here that's just kind of watching the whole thing. He's like, hey, 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 wait, wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then that goblin uh, now sets on fire. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Is covered in grease? What is this? <laughs> They're goblins. Their skin is definitely covered in grease. Yeah, yeah their skin too. is naturally <laughs> greasy. Uh, Clarence, yeah. it's your turn. How do I, like, check how far I can move, like, on the screen? Like, a lot you can do a, the At ruler the icon left? on the top left, yeah. It's, but... the, it's the fifth. Yep, perfect. Ah, That's my cursor. I was just showing. I, I see. You, can, you can use your action to dash so, so you can move double your feet. movement. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move up a little bit. Okay. You know, out of... Just... Nearly out of it feels like obligation. Like he'd, he'd look like a bad guy if he didn't look more concerned at this point. <laughs> move up a little bit. More like, I don't know. Yeah, Try he he did uh, he did just murder. So he's he's trying to not look like a complete. <laughs> just trying to make sure that everyone else around like gets away from these goblins that are apparently extremely flammable. <laughs> Uh, and with that three points of damage, by the way, uh, from the goblin being on fire, he also falls over dead into a burnt crisp. Uh, next up is Skagzag. Skagzag, first roll 1d4 as you've been set on fire. Jesus. Uh, you take four points of fire damage. Uh, you can, if you decide to, you can spend an action to smack the fire off of yourself or on Cheezel, or I will allow both if you want to use your full body. Cheezel in the face. All right, use an unarmed <laughs> attack. Oh <my> <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, unarmed attack. Where's that at? Uh, it should be in actions uh, over in the sort of like middle right of the page. All right, middle right. Ah, uh, action. Firebolt, unarmed strike. I see that. All yeah. Right. Uh, does a 12 break your armor class, Cheezel? No. Okay, then you're good. You, he literally swings in a, a swings in a miss at that point in time. All right. Can and we I roll go, to see if the swing is enough air to put out the... Oh, you want to, like, it's like a strong Can we roll to see if his gust? swing mist is enough air to put out my fire? Uh, go, uh, well, it depends. Uh, Skagzag, do you want Cheezel to be on fire or not on fire anymore? Um, nah, he can stay on fire. Okay, roll a D, <laughs> roll a D20. Uh, we'll let fate decide. All right. I just want to know what's fortunate for you. Uh, with that <laughs> three, uh, with that swing in the punch, you literally, like, with your strong pulsing muscles because Skagzeg, as you know very strong yeah. goblin i mean just very look strong. at those veins that are puffing there you do a mighty punch and with um <laughs> with chisel being as tiny as he is and your muscles being as big as they are uh you manage to sort of like bat him it doesn't do enough damage uh but it does extinguish the fire uh you are no longer on fire <laughs> chisel am i still now? on fire yes you're still on fire all right. <laughs> it's passed from one to the other. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, before Cheezel's turn, uh, you just kind of see the Taskmaster go, ah, jeez, all right, break it up, break it up. And he's trying to walk over to, to you guys who are currently on fire. Uh, Pico, uh, what do you do? Let's see. Or Cheezel, Cheezel, sorry, what do you do, oh, Cheezel? Uh, Cheezel looks at his friend in front of him and realizes what Skagzag has done and looks at you, Skagzag, with such joy and says, It's true! Best price is friendship! Big Ugly! And he signals to the giant ogre, Come put friend out! Mm. And Big Ugly walks over in order to do the exact same thing you did to him. Uh, right. At that <laughs> point, he will swing with an unarmed strike um oh, to it with the oh, with the intention of taking the fire out all right. right and if it hurts him so be it yeah <laughs> if, 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 if but no matter what happens with this attack the fire's going out we're just seeing if yeah, it actually that's the hits whole or point. not yeah of course. uh with a seven it isn't enough to do any damage uh but it is enough to extinguish skagzag um skagzag it appears to you that he just commanded his ogre which is you know you're, you're uh, Dungo, who's been with you for a while. Uh, Dungo has uh, extinguished your fire. Oh my god. That was great. That would have been an amazing act. Uh, and at that point, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and say this goblin screams uh, in fire uh, before he too perishes from the flames and then dies. 
Uh, and so ends the encounter. That sucked. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was happy. That sucked. Any, that was awesome. Any day is good time fun, yes? Yeah, it was great. Uh, uh, look at that. And the he, only people dead are those people we didn't know. He, he no breathes. Friends, those. Is anything on him? I mean, they're, they're still smoldering on the ground. They're still smoldering. You'll have to... Uh, if you would like to... <laughs> Pull out my water skin. I pour it on the nearest guy. Okay, all right. Take a look <laughs> Shh. So, so you can use uh, uh, all of your water from the water skin if you'd like to extinguish one goblin. Or you can, like a a, a flaming bag of, of dung, uh, use your feet to extinguish the goblins. That's not very good for Claire, the guy that's already top heavy. I'm gonna do the water skin, I think. I'm gonna pour that on him. All right. Uh, at that point, you will have extinguished and you see a, a charred burn goblin uh, that is now laying there dead. I take a look on his body for a, what it, what there might be. Uh, you kind of like move over his burnt sort of like jacket as he opens up right there and you're looking around. Uh, you see a jagged piece of metal, which can be used as a, as a makeshift weapon. Uh, and roll a d20. Let's see if this guy has been looting. All right. Uh, with an 11, I will say he has one piece of loot on him that he's looted. Uh, it is a singular piece of gold. <laughs> Take a look at that. I pocket it. <laughs> Dude, I want to loot my goblin. Uh, you, you're going to have to either use a water skin or smack him around with uh, your feet. I'll smack him. All right. You begin to stomp at the corpse of the goblin. Uh, a crunch sound is uh, uh, audibly heard. Uh, the smell itself atrocious. Uh, uh, as you laugh, you feel your, your morality just seeping out of your skin. As uh, at that point in time, you will have extinguished the, uh, the goblin's flame. You are now free to loot the goblin. I want to loot. Uh, you get, uh, same thing, uh, a, a jagged piece of metal that could be used for an improvised weapon. And roll a d20 to see if this goblin's been looting anything. Ooh, oh, yeah. with a 16, this goblin has been, uh, he's got quite sticky fingers as he's been running around the huts. You will have found two items. Ooh. Ooh. The first... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh no. Charred and burned from the fire is a destroyed hand drum. No! Oh, man. Oh, no, I win! No. <laughs> 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 can't, can't make any drums with this thing anymore! Hey, my hand drum, get your hands off! <laughs> <laughs> um, you also find a, uh, a, a, a singular. Uh, ba uh, singular caltrop, which you can use to uh, <laughs> it throw in front of someone, and if they step on it, uh, you can hurt their footsies. Nice. And lower their walking speed. Nice. I like it. So can I play the burn hand drum? Uh, you you try uh, to, but it, the the uh, the part of the leather that actually makes the sound uh, looks like it's been punched through because of the impact of the goblin landing down and striking. Um, the entire uh, thing is charred. So uh, you have to bury it. You have to bury it. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it on the ground. And go. Ah, you have to trash. Oh! <laughs> Where were you? I I pick it up in my hands as if it was like as if it was a baby you uh <laughs> carefully place it as you pick up bag. as you pick up the drum you imagine a uh, goblin infant playing with it excited as if uh this was his prized and treasure it still makes a little bit of a sound if you hit it right <laughs> a little bit there. I, can, I can do something with this mate it's not alive all right is it you can't give it cpr Don't say that. Don't... Why, I know it's not alive. It, it, it doesn't matter if it's not alive or not. It's the. It's still an instrument, though. It's still got something. Oh, in that does sound pretty good, to be fair. Uh, Brett, can I loot? Can I sleight of hand or whatever it's called? Uh, this guy. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, okay. Roll feel it in his back pocket. Yeah, uh, uh, roll sleight of hand. Uh, do you so at advantage? Dunko is very unaware of his surroundings. How to advantage? 
Uh, I believe it's a control click on the number and it'll roll it uh, at for advantage. Um, uh, no. Or you can just roll it again and we'll we'll count that at. There's a shortcut key though. With a 24, 24. you successfully steal uh, from Dungo. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, um, go ahead and roll a 1d20 for me, please, model. Okay, wait. Wait, uh, d20? Yes, please. Uh, ooh, all right. Um, well, I will say this is the end of the day of the circus, and the ring uh, leader, the the taskmaster, was keeping all the gold uh, that people used to buy tickets for the show uh, on Dungo's possession. You now are in possession yeah. of thirty gold pieces that Dungo Whoa. nor no one else is aware of. Holy shit! Um, I am currently peeing on this last <laughs> goblin to put him out. Yeah, um, and I say, I say, I, I say, uh, while I do it, body water make gobby no more crackle. And then I look at Peekle and say, you snoot shiny prizes. And I point to the, to the peed on goblin. Um, <laughs> go ahead and roll a d20 <laughs> since you are a very tiny goblin. We'll see if it is enough to extinguish well, the flames. Enough of my bladder. You're right. We need to roll this. Yeah, we do need to roll that indeed. Oh, nope, unfortunately, I, I only pee a little bit on him. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's little, yeah, just little, just droplets. Uh, just like, yeah, yeah. The goblin uh, spray, yeah. Yeah, the, the the goblin is still on, uh, plenty on fire, smoldering corpse at this point in time. Uh, Peacock kind of watches this happen, and he hears any what other, you say. Any other gobby friend want body water on <laughs> gobby? Peekle's gonna Shippers. trot over, unscrew her pickle jar, pour it into the, her little ladle, and then just dump it on the body. Uh, at that point, the brine from the pickle jar, uh, in a wonderful, salty bathing, just falls over the body, uh, <laughs> extinguishes the fire, and now you have a, what I can only at this point describe as the beginning of a pickled goblin corpse. Uh, can I roll for deliciousness? Uh, yes, please roll for oh deliciousness gosh. at that point. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, I'll eat him. Oh uh, roll a d20. Oh, uh, well, I want to say with a nine, uh, the fact is the goblin has been cooking for quite a bit. The goblin is currently uh, definitely well done. The, the brine helps. Uh, it de it, all it can do is help, but unfortunately, the droplets of urine... Uh, that you placed on the goblin has eliminated right, any but it of came the flavor from my own body, and I'm comfortable with myself. So my question yeah. for you is: compared <laughs> to the previous food that I ate to get my health back, <laughs> right. by eating this goblin, will I retain some health? Uh, I will say no, and then add to the fact that it may give you a bit of goblin uh, cannibalism madness uh, if you attempt to consume it's it. No this good. point, yeah. he's no gobby friend. No, yeah. thank he's, you. He's no good. Does he know this because he's tried it before? Uh, I will leave Don't that ask up. Don't questions you don't want answers to. <laughs> I will leave that up to Cheezle's, uh background. <laughs> My tribe is from the jungles. We do what we do. Gotcha. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh oh, uh -oh. <laughs> don't die. <laughs> you, you'll never go. <laughs> Model sleeve in the party. Okay. Um, <laughs> out. Uh, you do uh, have a pickled, uh, cooked, well done goblin corpse that can be looted if you decide to. Uh, I don't want to touch it because I just peed on it. That'd be weird. Obviously. But I, look, I look to Pickle. Yeah, if you no, want to take loot it. it. She doesn't care. Okay. Uh, Pickle. Pikel, you just kind of like open uh, the jackets a little bit uh, and start mm -hmm. looking around. Again, the same jagged piece of metal used for an improvised weapon and roll a d20 to see if uh, fortune smiles upon you. Ooh, with a 15, these, these two goblins before they were set ablaze uh, apparently got away with a lot of uh, a, a lot of looting, swiped a lot, and now it is uh, your looting. So we're gonna find out what that is. It's that's nope, that is not that. You did not find a laser pistol. Uh, it's just open up. You see a Star yeah. Wars blaster no. come out. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you find, uh, in a case that is entirely charred, um, you, I'll, I'll start with that. You find a charred case, okay? I open it. You see, untouched, this. Beautiful ornate spyglass. Ooh. Oh shit! 
I take it. <laughs> and with your uh, pickly, briny hands, uh, take the spyglass out of the case and just stuff it in one of your pockets. Yes. Its value being lost by the second. And next uh, is a what appears to be a charred ink pen that has exploded from the top. Uh, you then spot ink stained all over uh, the goblin's pockets. Okay. Um, can I rub some of the ink onto my hand? Uh, yes. It stains your hand a sort of bluish black. Okay. I'm going to hold out my hand with the ink on it and smack it against my face. <laughs> Uh, a a inky sort of handprint is now on your face. Smile Perfect. ever still present. Perfect. Uh, all right. Like an Uruk from Isengard. <laughs> yeah. Yes. One hundred percent. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right. What are you guys doing at this point? Um, the uh, the taskmaster begins to get impatient. All right, I All thought right. there was a human. I thought we were going to literally bump into a human, and that hasn't happened. It's just a bunch of sticky finger goblins apparently stealing stuff. I don't know. I guess setting themselves on fire. Looks at Skagzag. How human. are you still alive? <laughs> How am I alive? First off, I hate human. Second off, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got some real potential in our next show. I'll tell you that right now. I have hey. potential every show, all right? Hey, hey, uh, hey, music man! What? What? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh keep <laughs> it up. Like a fire alarm. Keep it up, okay? <laughs> and then he gives, he gives a wink and then continues walking forward. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, uh, I'm going to say to Pickle and Cheez-Its, come on, kids, and then I'm going to wrap my arms around them and pull them forward. Cheez-Its! <laughs> Cheez <-its. laughs> God damn it. Uh, I, oh, I, 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 absolutely, I absolutely love it. Uh, okay, did I? Oh, I did. Okay, cool. I just, apparently, this map's very big. All right. Uh, you guys continue along through the Goblin Village. That is charred on fire. Everyone's stealing from everybody. Uh, not a single human can be spotted or seen at this point. You'll start up in this uh, upper corner at this point in time. I'm going to once again uh, back into Cheezle. There we go. And uh, yeah, uh, you're free to move around. You see what appears to be a very wrinkly old briny goblin over here. Uh, he is behind a table and there are a various various cups of uh, of a liquid. Mm. Uh, who's been on fire? What this Do you have? Eh? Uh, yes. I'm a water salesman. This is when I get my most money. It is uh, during thievy, thieves, thieving goblin events like this. I got water what? for sale. Uh, one gold a cup. If you're ever set on fire or see some fire, you'll probably want to go ahead and purchase my water. You sell river juice? Yep. I attack him. Oh. All right. Uh, roll initiative, please. <laughs> We're going to just pay for this water, dude. <laughs> Take a step back. <laughs> river juice for people! <laughs> Wait, I, all of us initiative? Yes, absolutely. Uh, I wasn't lying okay, when I said I made stats for everybody because I knew a goblin <laughs> campaign would be a, be a murder hobo fest at any moment. <laughs> oh, Skag. Oh, the Skag, dude. Oh. Oh, oh. Hey, you're I just, wanna go first. Hey, you're just getting your shit rolls out of the way now, buddy. You're all good. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, I'm gonna roll for the merchant. <laughs> you thought I wasn't ready. Uh, okay, Clarence. At that point, you see, uh, <laughs> you see Cheezel oh, going in for the attack uh, almost immediately as this old oh, man, man steps I'm not back. Surprised. Yeah, going this back. Point. Uh, uh, so, uh, what do you do? Uh, These goblins are gonna wait I, for free water. I'd reckon we're only against this one goblin. <laughs> There's five of us. So Clarence gonna take a step forward and just grab one of the bottles of water. He's got empty water skin, so I think I think he's already realized this is over before it even began. He's gonna try to grab a bottle of water. <laughs> hey, wait a minute! Like, 
He, uh, uh he... I, look, I, I'm sorry, but like, look around you. You know what I mean? Look around you. He's gonna, he's gonna go for one. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll say you successfully do so. Uh, the goblin is gonna try and stop you first at this point. Uh, do you do anything else? Uh, so he's gonna be coming after me then, huh? Oh, oh yeah, he immediately has more. his aggression towards you, uh, currently. I step back behind Cheezel. <laughs> <laughs> and then I use, uh, and then I use, I don't actually, you're going to have to, I'm pretty sure this is pretty epic, but I'm going to use Bardic Inspiration on Cheezel. Okay. Like, what is that? I don't even exactly know what that's going to do. Can well, so, yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off this music real quick. Uh, Bardic Inspiration, you play a, uh, a lovely ballad that inspires your fo your your friends uh, in battle. Uh, so if you can please play a little something for us, uh, and then we will oh bestow God, the bardic yes. inspiration. <laughs> yes. And with that, uh, you are currently inspired with bardic inspiration as a moving <laughs> tune uh, goes through you. Uh, let's see what we got here. Boop, 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 boop. I know I'm inspired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I will I will read everything that happens with Bardic Inspiration. You inspire others for stirring words or music. Uh, once within uh, the next 10 minutes, the creature can roll a die and add a, the number roll to one ability check. Um, attack roll or saving throw, the creature can wait until after it rolls the d20 before deciding to use the Bardic Inspiration. Uh, okay, so, uh, Cheezel, you currently have a Bardic Inspiration. Uh, at any time, you may decide, uh, within the next 10 minutes to roll a d6 on top of your d20. You can decide after you roll the d20 whether to use your Bardic Inspiration or not. At this Great. point, I've basically accepted that I'm, like, going to be Cheezle's pocket healer at this point. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> so just be honest. Yeah, yeah. What's yeah. going on? Um, next up is Model. Um, I am going to do this. I would say to the, the goblin, I say, um, you heard the man. I'm going to grab a piece of water as well. Or a ah! cup of water, not a piece of water. <laughs> <laughs> a unit of liquid. <laughs> uh, I'm going to pour it on Cheezle. Uh, on his burns, um, and I'm gonna pat him on the back and say, "Go on, cheese it, fuck him up." Um, <laughs> so wait, you just poured water on Cheezel? Yeah. Okay. Uh, on his burns, if I can aim it. On his burns, okay. Um, yeah, a single unit of water, please. Uh, Cheezel, uh, the, your burns begin to sting even more as the water itself oh. stinks. Oh. I said that's my water! And then at that point, the goblin merchant will throw a cup of water into oh the eyes of the last person who stole water, which in this case would be a model. No. <laughs> Sacrifice. <laughs> Sacrifice. Um, model. Let me just go ahead. There we yeah. go. Uh, suspicious water's uh -oh. thrown in your face. Uh, oh make God. a dexterity saving throw to dodge it. Okay. It stinks, and you probably don't want to know where it came from. Oh God! Uh, you are blinded <gasps> until the end of your next round. No! <laughs> oh fuck! Jeez, man. <laughs> I can't see. Uh, Pikel, it's now your turn. Okay. Uh, she's gonna come over to this gabo and bonk him on the head with her soup ladle. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, go ahead and roll the. That's the damage. Uh, go ahead and roll the. You're good. Oh Jesus! Christ. But that's not. Uh, so at that that's point, not gonna work. the old goblin holds on to your hand that you're trying to bop, as if he's like a scolding grandpa. You don't do that, Cheezel. Let go, Cheezel. Yeah, uh, Cheezel sees that Peekle's hand has been stopped, and he is burning with, I assume, poop water. So, I want to use Rage. Oh, shit. Uh, and I shout at him, River Juice has no chains! Blows from mother heart to all gummies! And I whack him. Let's see. And I whack him. That hits. Oh, that hits for five points of damage. Uh, and because I have rage, I have another two points of damage to add on to that. Seven points of damage. Uh, 
as at that point in time, his old brittle bones snap under the weight of the staff. Jesus. Oh my god. <laughs> Just an old man. I didn't get to go. Man, I uh, definitely shot a little early on that uh, inspiration there. Uh, <laughs> Cheezle, Cheezle well, smashes all the water on the table. Uh, the water spills everywhere. It stinks. Back to Earth, Wawa! <laughs> Am I still blind? How am I blinded for, bro? Uh, till the end of your next round, which so right now your your eyes clear up, but your face stinks. Oh, I'm just rolling around on the floor, pulling the, the I assume, piss or shit water out of my eyes. Hey, uh, Kel's gonna you... splash pickle juice at your face. Like, ah! It doesn't help! It doesn't help! It's okay. He's help. I don't think it is. He's help. Shh. He's okay. Gonna... All right, there we go. All right, perfect. Okay. I really just want to make sure you're understanding the full thing. One day we'll see something the we weight. don't kill, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this no Tony. river juice! This bad poo poo wawa! <laughs> I'm sorry then, I didn't mean to put it on your wounds. I was trying to help! Um, Burn like fires, but not as fun! <laughs> <laughs> oh. At that point, right. you'll begin to hear screaming coming from uh, this direction up north as you see, we just zoom out a, a bit, uh, a bunch of goblins running south saying, human, human. Uh, you come to the conclusion that up to the north is probably where the human is located. Mm. Well, I've still got like red fucking eyes with piss and now pickle brine, so I, I'm not leading the way. I can't see shit. <laughs> There's the only one person who should be leading the way, and we all know who that is. Skag's egg. He, he hates humans. He hates yeah. humans. He That's hates right. humans. <laughs> so he wants to kill him, dude. <laughs> wow. Did you forget your character already? <laughs> <laughs> I do hate humans, but I'm just saying, how do I know that there's no humans? The north. There are humans. Because yeah, people been said there were a humans. Lot of, we've been hearing a lot were... of humans. Yeah, but I don't even know if I trust humans. anybody at this point. I haven't seen any humans. But you hate humans so much. Can we get a roll to see if you hate humans more than you trust? That's true. Can we get a human? <laughs> you, <then> you distrust <laughs> yeah. goblins, please? Uh, yeah, roll a d20, please. All right. This roll, this this roll, this roll doesn't mean anything. Uh, what do you hate, humans, Skagzag? I hate humans. All right, Uncle Skagzag hates humans. I'm gonna say a six means Skagzag hates humans. All right. Go on, Skagzag. Follow your heart. All right, follow me. I think I I sense where the humans are. He's got a sense. That's how uh, much he hates them. Skagzag, panic fills your brain and worried <laughs> that one day goblins may find out you actually do not have a sense for humans. All right. <clears throat> I just hate them. <laughs> uh, uh, this oh way. Oh, God. Will you not We're... listen? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> uh, oh my as, God. as he continues to walk to the south, you see uh, Goblin screaming as he runs past Skagzag, going, Yeah, good. Away from the humans. You're smart. <laughs> Wait, what? Away from the humans? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean away from the humans? Oh, they're, they're, the hu humans I hate humans. Uh, we saw a human over at Gobby Vault. What? Gobby Vault? Yeah! All Over right. there! He points north. <laughs> yeah, <so bad. laughs> oh, Clarence, like, groans. It's a lot of work to travel, like, <laughs> to move. <laughs> yeah. It's heavy. Exactly. It back around. <laughs> God, I hate humans. Yeah, I hate this humans. Humans. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, okay, I will say you guys move up to the north. To the north. To the north. King of the north. King of the north. Uh, all right. Uh, there doesn't appear to be any goblins around, and as you see, the door is wide open um, mm. for an entryway. Would you look at that? I look at that. I said there'd be humans here. <laughs> and I don't see any humans. Well, we're not at the vault yet, Skag. Oh. God, I hate <laughs> humans. I might, I, I've gathered that by now. What? What is vault? 
I don't know. I don't work here. Skagzak does. <laughs> the vaults where they, uh, they keep shit, you know. <laughs> East cave? No, no, no. It's no. a cave. It's a, it's a thing. You just keep shit in there, you know? That's yeah, you keep, like, trinkets. East cave? Yeah. No, no, not poo poo. <laughs> I don't think they get it, mate. I don't think they get it either. It's like a. All right. It's like a box. Or I guess it could. Listen. It doesn't have to be a box. All right. What is poo poo box? Yes? <laughs> let's, let's. I can't do this. All right. <laughs> can I pull right. off the. Glass and try to see the vault from here? Uh, yes, you can. Okay, what do I need to make for that? Uh, you don't need to make anything. Uh, you oh, can, perfect. you can, you, as you look ahead, um, mm -hmm. you see, uh, the vault, uh, now closer instead of before. Any <laughs> anything suspicious? Nope. Okay. But you can make an investigation check if you'd like. I will. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Riveting. Oh, rolls Common. tonight. Wow. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh, He's building. So, with that, you don't spot anything except this vault appears to be uh, wide open. Look, does she have it backwards? Uh, I, like that. I like that a lot. She's put it to her eye backwards. Uh, so far it, away. It looks so far. very far away at this point. I, if, there's some, if there's something in there, I can try to flush it out. I got this thing. I pull out a chauffeur, which is a, a war horn. A oh. oh, my God. Horn. War oh. horn. Do it, Clint. Do it, in please. There. I can scare him out with this bad boy. Never played it before. I've been scared to. Uh, but uh, I, could, I could try to throw something together. Yeah. Clint is great warrior. Apparently not. Suck, by the way. <laughs> they make the sound they do in the movies, dude. <laughs> I do anything for you? Uh, the sound. Oh, great warrior. The sound echoes off into the distance. All right, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up with Jesus. <laughs> Feeling very very inspired by Clint. <laughs> <laughs> to get away from that sound. Um, Guys, wait, wait up! <laughs> I'm gonna say the the ringleader kind of like stay, stay, stays back a little bit and says, uh, "Yeah, you guys check it out, and if there's no one actually there, then uh, you're good to go." All right. You guys begin to walk into what appears to be an old abandoned office. This was once probably a uh, mayor or town elder's uh, room. Uh, you kind of see like old tables and cabinets uh, moved ahead. Oh, hey. uh, model. Oh, do you want me to stop? Uh, sure, it's around. Uh, you're free to, to to move around if you want. I'll tell you when to stop. Still good? Okay. Uh, if you like. Oh. Uh, now stop. Model. You see it. No one else probably oh. does at this point. Oh. A sh what appears to be a shadowy figure leaning down into a chest. He seems to be a very tall and lanky humanoid guys oh we have entered the boss encounter of the session i'm gonna need everyone to roll initiative does he see? as you see the shadowy figure lurk its head over he has spotted you damn i wish i knew more about rogues and using oh my stealth God. <laughs> oh nice he steps out of the shadow. This extremely <laughs> lanky human. And it is there that you see it. He's grotesque. He appears to be as green as you. Tall and lanky, he can barely keep a hold of his torso as the feet seem to move on its own. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Hey, what what are you doing? It's it it's me, the human. And uh Oh my god. <laughs> he goes in for the rush. I'm going to go ahead and roll initiative. This uh this character 
is uh, a little unbalanced because he actually, this human goes twice around. Right. The torso yeah. goes, gotcha. and, and and then the, uh, the, the legs. A real human's torso. A real well, human's too legs. <laughs> well, Mottle fucking believes him because he's gullible as shit, so... <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, so you hear this 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 scratchy voice, Cheezel, uh, and with that, the boss encounter begins. <laughs> all right, Cheezel, it's your turn. Well, uh, now that I know that we are fighting on the stage of the Opera House in Final Fantasy VI, <laughs> I feel like yeah. we we should really make this special. Um, so. Can I, in this room, there's, it's all the walls. There's only one path over to the next area, right? Correct. Mm. Okay, I can move. Like, this is as far as I can get without doing an extra turn, right? Uh, yes. Or, uh, uh, do I have a, let me see. Hold on a minute. Let me see. You can also walk through allies, right, Brett? Uh, yes, you can. Go cool, just, just can't end your turn there. I think you've right. also technically got my inspiration still. Uh, yes, you do. It has not been 10 minutes. I can't get to him, though, right? Distance-wise? Uh, correct. You can only move up to your speed. Well, you're, you wait, want, you could you dash an action. up to him, but then you wouldn't have an action. That is correct. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I dash up to him, ready to fight. And uh, as as I do, I pull out, I pull out my staff, ready to destroy a human. And I look up and see the most beautiful human I've ever seen ever. <laughs> and I say to him, You're pretty yummy. <laughs> so green. Uh, get away, kid. And he kind of like the top of the tor just begins moving around a little bit as you see like a little movement in the gut. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess that's all I can do right now. Uh, okay. You have such an effect. Uh, at that point, he's going to... <laughs> at this point, uh, I would like to go ahead and show you an ability this guy has. He's going to swap initiative uh, with the legs. So the legs are now going on the torso's turn. As he begins kind of like moving around a little bit the room. Uh, Does does he take attack an opportunity from Cheez It? Uh, he will if Cheez It decides to take it. I do. Okay. Are you attacking the uh, torso or the legs? The legs, because they switched, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Feel free. Uh, the twenty-three hits. Jesus uh, Christ! Can I ask you a question? <laughs> yes. Rage lasts for one minute up to ten rounds. I assume we exited combat. I lost it. Yes, it has been a minute. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, you... I'll take the four. I'll take the four. Uh, okay. Uh, at this point in time, I need to roll an, acro uh, an athletics check. I think rage also drops if you don't hit or get hit within one round, like for a whole round. I'm not sure if that's still true or not. Uh, uh you kind of see the torso doing. Uh, let me let me do this real quick. Doing one of one of one of these. Uh, before he, like, gets back up. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, at that point, you will see <laughs> the legs say, ah, quit it! As you see from a pocket, a goblin hand stick itself out, ignite with flame, and shoot a firebolt uh, over at Sheezel. Oh my god. Uh, Levin does not hit as you see a fire just like cast over. Um, and yeah, just lands over there as it, before it fades. Uh, Skagzag, it is now your turn. All right. I'm like, what's going on in there? Uh, uh, there. There's a human. A real fucking human. Human. I hate humans. <laughs> uh, cast Firebolt. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, which one do I click for it? Uh, it should be in your spells well, and like actions. And then effect. So in oh, right. like yeah, will. 
Uh, yeah, at the at will actions, uh, and then do right. your hit slash DC. Uh, you click that number. Uh, okay. Uh, 14, and uh, who are you attacking? Uh, I'll attack the uh, top. Uh, okay. Uh, the 14 hits. Nice. As he just like leans back a little bit, his arms moving around. Hey, quit it! <laughs> <laughs> do I do a wild magic check? Uh, you do not on a cantrip. Uh, click the firebolt, and we'll see how much damage you did. All right. Uh, wait, which? Where? Uh, in the chat box. Oh, in the chat uh, box of roll twenty. Uh, yeah. There you go, and you do uh -huh. eight, eight points of damage. Oh, yeah. Ooh, nice. Uh, I see. Okay, let me just go <laughs> ahead and real quick. All right, we're good. Uh, all right, model, it's now your turn. Um, question, because I've never played a rogue. Um, I get sneak attack if someone's in melee range of him, or Correct. if I have advantage on the attack. Correct. Do I get advantage if I'm stealth from him? Uh, yes, but trying to, like, stealth is not, like, uh, wow stealth, where you, like, banish. No, I know, but I, I can use it as a bonus action because I'm a rogue, right? So uh, I, can, I, I can use Nimble Escape. If you, if you have, yes, uh, you can use Nimble Escape, um, and then you could also, like, hide. But since you're in battle right now, you can't, like, hide in plain sight. You'll have to, like, hide somewhere yeah. else. Yeah. Gotcha. All Absolutely. right, well, I'm going to... I can I can also move, do something, then move again, can't I? Correct. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. All right, I'm going to move around here. I'm going to okay. say, careful, pickle, uh, clerk. <laughs> There's a human in there. Uh, I'm going to hide with a bonus action using Nimble Escape. And then come back round the corner just a little bit and ping a little short bow at his at his head. Okay, uh, go ahead and roll a stealth check. Okie day. As you're doing like a like a like a little hidden pot shot. Hell Ooh, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll say you pull that off. So go ahead and roll that um, and then add sneak attack. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna figure out the sneak attack. Okay, that's the bow. Uh huh. That hits. Uh, what are you, what are you aiming at? At the head. Okay. Right in the forehead. Uh, okay. Yeah, click short bow. And then uh, there should be like a checkbox for sneak attack. Yep, there it is. Hey. You, oh. do, you do 12 points of damage. Nice. Hell yeah. Uh, the torso kind of like leans back a little bit before he just straightens up a little more. Um, <laughs> does that end your round? Yes. Uh, okay. Round over. Uh, now it is a real human's legs, which is actually going to be a real human's torso's turn. He lightly lifts off a uh, crossbow, a light crossbow in the in the sleeve of his arm, and uh, shoots it at Skagzag, and misses with a seven. Uh, Clarent, it is now your turn. It's not much uh, space to squeeze. Uh, you can walk. See you what's really going on? Uh, you can walk by. Uh, you can squeeze and walk by them if you'd oh, like. No, I can I quickly insult this? This is going to be so uncomfortable. What was that? I want to insult the human for missing. Uh, yeah, feel free. Talking's free action. <laughs> nice shot, you dumb bitch. Yeah, you're a <laughs> dumb bitch. How dare you? And then he just kind of like, you see his stomach like kick around a little bit. <laughs> Why would a goblin say that? <laughs> you, dumb. you dumb bitch. I'm just going to move up to like the wall. Okay. Here. I'm pretty out of position, so I'm just going to spend this turn getting a little bit closer. Okay. To the thing. Uh, Pikal, it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to come round to the corner here. Okay. Yes, hate humans. And she's going to sacred flame. Uh, so dexterity save at the torso, please. Uh, okay. Uh, nine. Okay, so fail, and two points of radiant damage. <laughs> ah! uh, as he just, like, lights on fire very quickly, uh, very briefly. Uh, just rolling that. Uh, and with that fail, he falls prone <laughs> off the legs. <laughs> and the legs are still standing up straight. Uh, all right, it is now uh, Cheezle's turn. Uh, the, he's, the guy who's prone is on fire still, yes? Uh, not on fire. It was like a, 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 fla a bleed frame, and now he's uh, prone. But, like, he was on mystical fire of some sort. Like yeah. a sacred fire, one might say. Y yes. <laughs> what are you uh, What are you attempting That's all to I that? mean. <laughs> okay. Chisel runs over and is like, I have! Uh-oh. And I swing with my... Uh, 
my uh, uh, weapon that I can't find right now. They're my quarter staff. Okay. Uh, that hits. Uh, also, roll again at advantage because he's prone. Uh, yes. So with the 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 five bludgeoning, he goes. He goes ah, and then uh, is knocked unconscious by the stick. Uh, I look at the others for approval. <laughs> yeah. He's <laughs> good. One thumbs up. <laughs> uh, Skagzak, it's now your turn as the legs begin looking around in a panic. This man has been cut in half for some reason. Uh, I'm like, dad. Uh, wait, can I catapult something off the floor at him? Uh, there is no, uh, no pebbles Just... or anything like that there. Uh, the ch it would have oh. to be less than five pounds. Yeah, it's gotta be. Oh. Less well, I mean. <laughs> any no limitations. Of those, uh, any of those things back there less than five pounds? I mean, what about Peekle? She's like less than five pounds. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. I'm going to cast a fog cloud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, oh, where do you? Uh, That's all we needed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> where do you put the fog cloud? Uh, around me. Uh, okay. Just yeah. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Fog cloud. One action. You create a twenty-foot radius sphere of fog, centered at the point within range yourself. The sphere uh, goes around, goes around corners, and its uh, area is heavily obscured. It lasts the duration until wind or moderate. There. Okay. So there you go. Uh, everything is obscured currently, uh, within twenty so feet. So we can't see, right? Uh, it's it's difficult. You will be attacking at a disadvantage. Like, it's not even a roll. It just lists the ability. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no roll. You just created fog. Does the wild magic roll occur? Yes, it does. You may roll a one d twenty now. <laughs> so excited. I, I know that's what you He's wanted. He's been at the edge of his seat to do this. Yeah. Time. yeah. I know. Uh, you're good. You're good. Uh, all right. And so now, uh, you just see a fog fill up in the room. Model, it's your turn. Wait. So okay. All I see is fog. Yes. Can I see through the fog if I'm inside the fog? Uh, you can still see through the fog. It's just difficult to attack things. So you will be attacking things at a disadvantage while you are in the fog or if, or <laughs> at targets that are in the fog. God damn it. Uh, I'll say, blimey, Pickle, you're coming off. And then I'm going to run up <laughs> yeah. uh, and get to it and then see that, geez, it's already fucking knocked out the head. Yep. What do I see looking like at the top of this? Uh, you set see of legs? half of a man that is still standing. Just the legs, though. But can I see over? Can I tippy toe and look in? Uh, the legs uh, is kind of like folded over a little bit as part of the uh, overcoat is there. So you have to lift up. Uh, it won't let you, though, uh, when, the, when you try and enter its range as it is still alive. The legs. Okay. I'm going to climb on top of it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Okay. All right. Sounds Please, good. Yes. Uh, as you Do I need uh, to roll anything? Uh, yeah. Feel free to uh, feel free to roll. Just roll it. I do a little flip up. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> uh, you are now on top of the legs, and at this point in time, with a graceful landing, the legs seem to understand that it's the partner again, uh, the torso, and uh, it. Yeah. You are now on it. What do you do? Uh, um. Well, so I guess that would have been my action, right, to climb yep. up. That's correct. Okay. Um, it can't see me. Can I hide again with my bonus action? Oh my god! I'm gonna consider it that you are uh, successfully hidden uh, from this okay, guy because right. he's That's literally. That's my turn. Then I'm just gonna surf. Uh, <laughs> all right. So here we go. Uh, I'm gonna say since you. Come on, hear me. Holy fuck. I, I'm going to say you're now riding on the legs. Uh, if you wish, you can attempt to slow it down a little bit to halt its movement if you'd like. Yeah, I guess I guess I will. I'll just like wobble it by like jiggling my legs so it can't maintain balance very well. Uh, okay, go ahead and make a uh, strength check. A strength check. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, You'll have to well, beat a twenty. Oh, yeah, you Jesus. literally, as he walks away, you kind of hear the voice go, "Hey, quit! Hey, stop it up there!" Uh, and he I'm peeks, trying. I'm trying. He peeks out through the crotch of the pants to see uh, fog, and he goes, "Blimey, what's happening up there?" I, I don't know, mate. I can't see. I can't, can't see a thing. Uh, and then he's just gonna <laughs> fire from the crotch hole uh, at Skagzag, um, a firebolt at disadvantage. What? 
It is a critical miss as the fog has completely oh. blinded him. Uh, that ends this round. Clurnt, it's now your turn as fog is is coming on out. Hey, what the hell's going on? Oh my god! What the model you got so big? Uh, yeah, check it out! What happened? I, I climbed on top! I don't know who's inside! <laughs> well, I pretty much said that. <laughs> Bart doesn't have anything at level one. <laughs> I, uh. You can charge I, again. That's I, effective. I could, but I could also use my other bardic inspiration on Skagzag. Hell yeah. To Whoa, make him shit. more powerful than he ever was before. And here I go. <laughs> Seeing how long this fog lasts. And Hold here, on one second. I go. Uh, concentration up to an hour. Okay, cool. <laughs> and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Oh, there it is. Wow. That was like a moan. Fire. Like a cry. That was, that was more exhausting than you think. That was a bagpipe, but a children's bagpipe. And I have to fill that thing up. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> It was all the yeah, bardic inspiration on Skaggs. Okay. Um, do you do anything else? Can I, what else can I do? I don't know D and D. This is like oh, okay. my first rodeo. My my apologies. So I believe bardic inspiration is a bonus action, so you can oh. you know do that. And then if you have more movement, if you would like to get in melee range, uh, you can do that. And then you can still have you still have your uh, your action to attack. With the I, drumstick. Yes, I mean, if you want to, you move? don't have to do that. If I mean, you don't I have to, to, I have to do the math on how far I move because I only have thirty feet. And feet. Yeah, I can get to the feet. I mean, mm -hmm. I'd, be, I'd, be ta I'd be taking down models' legs here, but I could take a fucking. I'm yeah, pretty acrobatic, take... dude. If you want to, if you want to. <laughs> I'm, I'm. You know what? Clint's already seen bloodshed. All right, I think he already knows this. Nothing's gonna change. You know, he's got. He's gotta change. You know, <laughs> got and he's it. gonna pull out his fucking dagger while sort of stumbling with all this like shit. <laughs> and he's gonna take a he's gonna take a stabbing swing with his dagger at the at the knees or what he thinks is the knees. Uh, oh, all right, uh, model Clint is going for your legs. Yes, that's all I'm saying. So just let you know. I'm gonna let it happen. <laughs> okay, I beckon it. <laughs> so, uh... uh, that hits. All right. Uh, for four points of damage. Uh, at this point, I will need you, a model, to make athletics or an acrobatics check to maintain on the legs, as that is what the mechanic is every time the legs or the torso uh, gets uh, uh, gets hit. Oh, that's mm -hmm. right. We got disadvantage. Uh, Clarence, can you roll one more time, and we'll take the lowest roll? I forgot you're in okay. fog. Yeah, this, uh, so your rolls are at disadvantage uh, right now. So I should roll for hit again? Yep, we're going to roll for hit again. The fog is truly impacting their ability to play <laughs> the game. Oh wait, sorry. That was that was my that was my hammer. Do you want me to do it again, or do you want to just take? Oh, I, I didn't. I didn't out. see a roll. I didn't see a roll. Uh, you just roll the dagger again. I think it. There it is. Uh, yeah, you're good. Oh yeah. You hit. You hit for four points yeah. of damage. Model. Uh, the legs kind of like move around a little bit, uh, but you managed to keep keep it steady. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Bikal, it is now your turn. All right. So how, how clear can we see in the fog? Uh, you can see where targets are, but you still suffer okay. a disadvantage with attack rolls. Okay. Is model is okay? She's confused. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? I'm okay. I'm having a whale of a time. He's okay. Okay. Uh, I'm in a sacred flame again at the legs. So deck okay. save, please, legs. Uh, okay. <laughs> you got you it. would be so kind. Uh, 13, um, or, or, or 18, 18, 18, sorry. It's you not just... beat my modifier. Okay, so nothing happens. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Cheezle. Yeah, Cheezel sees, uh, how much can I see actually? Uh, so you can see pretty much everything that's happening, uh, but it's all a little blurry, so you get a, you suffer right. a disadvantage, yeah. But you pretty much know right. where everything so is. Cheezle looks down and sees that, uh, can I see what this thing is in front of me that's on the ground? Uh, it appears to be, uh, yeah, if you would you like to spend the round investigating it? Um, I mean, I don't care that much. Uh, I just, I guess you I will notice that the, uh, the human is still up and moving, even though half a human lays before me, which, you know, Correct. is very scary. That's fair. So... Uh, I will assume 
This human is some sort of warlock. Mm -hmm. And I will uh, notice that this warlock has taken the form of my friend model and <laughs> attack the head. Oh, uh, no. All right. Oh, uh, no. Warlock brain case is filled with spells. And I'll attack the head. All right. <laughs> uh, model, what is your Perfect. AC? Uh, 14. Okay. Uh, roll at a disadvantage. Uh, I can't get lower than that, so a critical miss as you stumble through the fog. Hey, Jason, look! Wait, Jason, stop! Stop! He speak my name, but he evil! Uh, Skagzag, it is now your turn. By the way, you can drop the fog at any time, if you so wish. Uh, now, I've been looking at my sorcerer abilities. Okay. Uh, what is Tides of Chaos? Uh, so Tides of Chaos uh, oh essentially allows you to regenerate a spell slot. And if I so decide, uh, I, you can do that once per, uh, once per day. And I may decide to allow you to do it further, if you wish, uh, for a roll at the, the wild magic table. However, I'd like to do that. Uh, I will say that you restore a spell slot of your choice and roll at the wild magic table, please. All right, what's that, a uh, 100? Uh, no, 1d20. We have to see if it, 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 right. you, you, roll, you actually are going to roll on the table or not. Uh, do I, well, not e20. Uh, you do not have to roll on the wild magic table. Ah. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> he wants it so bad. He wants it so bad. <laughs> Dude, there should be, like, an abil ability in D&D &D where it's, like, you automatically get a roll on that table. Yeah, you know? yeah. You will it to happen. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. uh, what do you do? Yeah. Ikea, every roll would be a wild magic. <laughs> um, all right. All right. I'm gonna, uh, can I do another firebolt? Yes, you can. Uh, what are you aiming at? Uh, I'm going to aim in the general direction of where the humans are. Uh, okay. So you're just going to flip a coin to see if it's legs or torso? Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, go roll ahead. a 1d2. 1d2, yep. If you roll a 1, I'm going to say you hit the legs. Uh, if you roll a 2, okay, you hit the torso. Uh, all right, roll all right. A, that on disadvantage. Oh, no. As model, you see a firebolt coming towards you. Oh, no. Towards my face? Uh, uh, no, towards model's face, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yep, yeah, sorry, in character <laughs> again. Um, yep, yep, yep. Shall I... <laughs> Yep. Do I get a reaction or anything to this? Sure don't. Uh, roll the uh, okay. <laughs> roll the firebolt again, and we'll take the lowest amount since you're attacking through the fog. All right. Uh, okay, so with a 10, does a 10 break your armor class model? No. Okay. No, you see a firebolt uh, fling past you. Jesus Christ! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um... Oh. Okay, Brett, what do I see below my mm -hmm. feet? Uh, you see what appears to be a stumbling feet. No, but like, I'm looking down at my feet. Am I standing on like a little wooden platform or is it like a goblin's hands holding my feet up? Uh, no, you're on the shoulders of a goblin right now who's got you gra <laughs> okay. grappled by the, the legs currently. Okay, uh, I'm going to look to Clo and say, Look, Clint, I could do it too. And then I'm going to plunge my daggers into its neck around its uh, <laughs> around its shoulders that I'm standing on. Uh, like a sword uh, drive. Uh, go ahead and roll at an advantage. The fog's not going to gonna slow you down with this one since you know where okay. the uh, How legs are. How do I are. advantage? Uh, roll, twice. roll twice and we'll take the highest roll. Uh, the 24, yep. Would you like to roll sneak attack on bread? Yeah. Okay, you can only do it <laughs> once around, just so you know. Uh, so... Okay. Uh, yeah, go ahead and attack with bread, and we'll take the sneak attack number as well for 10 points then, of damage. Woo! 10 points. Uh, and then I can just do regular on butter? Uh, yep. Uh, add, add an advantage again as you're, like, stabbing through the neck of whatever that is. A 14 will hit. And just six. Yeah. And, okay, uh, so damage. with that, you feel your legs get extremely damp as the blood of the whatever the heck the legs were uh is just spraying all over the <laughs> the legs of the inside God. of this uh as the legs fall over dead uh you can make an athletics roll or fall straight on your face it's entirely up to you oh athletics yeah or acrobatics works uh you land I'll on do your feet acrobatics. you land on your feet Sweet. with a, with a yeah. lovely and i'm gonna take a bow to clan <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you it's like you wet your pants there. 
Very good, Clint. Very I'm good. I'm gonna clap. <laughs> yeah, clap. <laughs> are you alright, Clint? Are you, are you, yeah, no, are you okay? The, the fog. I hate the fog. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, all right. Uh, the area is still foggy, but now you appear to be in what you uh, may have discovered, uh, depending on your intelligence level. Uh, is actually two goblins. One goblin on the arms of the other goblins who are both now dead. This may have been the oh human that God. everyone was screaming about. Oh my I don't think God. I've realized it's a goblin. I fact. just checked everyone's intelligence and I am in fact <laughs> yeah. objectively smarter than all of them, it turns out. And I couldn't tell that was that a That explains human, the dude. empathy. I yeah. just thought it was like legs. <laughs> 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 yeah, <dude>. minus one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this inspi this inspires you uh for the future. Uh you now have the ability uh to dress up as a human. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. With, it, with with a one goblin on the shoulders of another goblin and a long trench coat, you oh may god. even be able to disguise yourself in the human villages. Oh my god. That is amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus oh does god. not understand. I don't yeah. know what just happened. <laughs> and if you don't understand, uh, that's fine. You don't have to take this knowledge with you. Um, it's the weirdest human I've ever seen. Humans made of two gummies? Yeah, I think oh so. God. I hate humans. Now they're <laughs> trying humans... to be like us. But humans is gummies, friend. That's not possible. Look, it's two copy. No, 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 no. Yeah, don't, don't, don't think about it too much, Skag. You're gonna have like a moral relevation or something. I hate humans, and humans are not goblins. Humans are two goblins. They're not goblins. I'd like to escape from this and look around the room. Uh. You are, yeah, you are currently in the vault of the Gobbo Vault Room. This is all the items that oh. were gathered up when this village was taken over by the goblins. Uh, and, instruments in here, man. Uh, if you would like <laughs> to go down ahead. Instruments in here, man. I want to take a look around, man. Oh, I just gotta take a quick look around, man. And just gonna uh, peek at some grab, chests. Can I, can I, I grab Clunt? I want to take a peek at some of these chests, man. Yeah, I want to look. What's going on? What, uh, can okay. I grab Clunt and say, let me check for traps first or something like that? And I don't even know if that's the thing you can uh, do. Oh like yeah, you, you could literally just say that. All right, all right let me check for right. traps, Claude. Right, don't right, don't right, put right, your hands right, in that. Right, cool, I'm traps cool. in here. I open the chest. Uh, okay. At this point, <laughs> oh, let's see. God. You open the chest. Inside of this chest, I feel like we're gonna be at this for a while, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> you find an old U wand, which can be a a, a, a spell a spell casting focus. Uh, a random iron spike used for climbing. A beautiful, beautiful yellow sapphire. And uh, what appears to be a liquid of some kind. Liquid? Yes. It appears More it, 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 it appears to be drinkable. Hmm. What was oh. the wand? A U wand? A U wand. It's just a, a, a casting focus. Not a me wand. <laughs> 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 uh, right, can I check for traps? That wasn't, that wasn't on the stand that time. Uh, yeah, feel feel free, feel free. Like what? What? what sorry, I, I, I'm wording this question uh, incorrectly. What is the action that I take to actually check for traps? Is uh, you would use your thieves tool or not thieves, uh, investigation. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can't seem to spot any, any, uh, any tra tra uh, oh, yeah, traps. Clint, there's no traps in here, Clint. Come on, right. open this one. Hey, I'll take your word on it. Immediately, without hesitation, oh, open this one. It's the middle one that I'm pointing at. <laughs> one, like, right beneath me. It ex uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, at that point, you would see a <laughs> golden locket. Hold on, what was the last item my god, I forgot. Uh, purple liquid. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can consume it if you wish. Yeah, fuck it, I'll drink it. Yeah, so oh I thought God. that's what I thought you would. All right, so let's go ahead and describe everything that happens to you. Uh, first and foremost, uh, 
you go on a uh, what I could describe as a, a psychoactive trip. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh my God. Oh. It's Stug, uh, dude. What is your what is your favorite <laughs> what is your favorite beverage? Beverages. Beverage. I love bre What's your favorite Dragon. beverage? Uh, Would I'll you just, say uh, Skagzag? Say beer. Love beer or uh, coffee. Yeah, it uh it uh tastes like beer, uh, a fine beer. Whoa. Uh, it manages pain, so you're feeling pretty good. Uh, I feel great. Let's, let's see, it causes a disorienting euphoria, and brings about remarkable resistance to pain. Whoa. Uh, you are poisoned for one hour. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh boy. <laughs> However, for the next hour, you are immune to fear. Ooh. And the first time you drop to zero hit points without being killed outright, it instead brings you back to one hit point. <laughs> this is like that Simpsons episode where he's like, you are cursed. And he's like, oh. he's like, but the curse comes with free yogurt. He's like, Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> uh, you have disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks for the next hour. All right. Uh. Um, but you feel like you're on top of the world currently. <laughs> God damn it! God damn what it, was, dude! What was in the chest I opened? Oh, I, I I apologize. Let me uh, let me get that. Uh, golden locket. Fresh. Uh, a a a a small oh, no. small red jewel. I take that and put it in my pocket. Okay. Uh, block and tackle. What? It allows you to hoist up four <laughs> times your weight. Essentially, it's order? like. It's like uh, it's like uh, like on what are, what are those called? Like wires, like in theater, so you can like fly people around and things like that. You can um, hoist people I need, up. I need wire and like string and such for some of my spells. And uh -huh. wire is sort of like you know could be like a guitar string or something like that. For mm -hmm. a guy like me, like I a take pulley, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take that. Hell yeah. Uh, and a tiny sapphire. Also take it. Okay. <laughs> and I grab the locket too. Okay. <laughs> Uh, you uh, uh, have opened two chests of the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chests. Are you? Uh, I'm just gonna ask this question flat out. Are you emptying out this the the goblin vault? Yes. I want to check as many <laughs> for traps as I can. I want to look at but the box. Then yeah. Okay. Um, go ahead and take a look at the bodies. Actually, you know what we're gonna we're, we're gonna do is say um, that. This will be the end of session one, and next week I will have a full list of everything that you've looted in the chest. The oh no! <laughs> He's so fucking scared of us opening all these. Oh no no no! Plug on the session. <laughs> I, uh, I I know what's gonna happen. The boxes are gonna be He's open, and I, I'm ready to give it all to you. Uh, but I'd rather give it to you all in a fast pace instead of open chest. Here is right, an no, item. I get it. You want to give it to us fast. Yes. I got it. Yeah. Give it to you. I get fast. it all. Thank fast you, pace. Yeah, you want to give it to us, but fast. Fast and hard. Uh, but that's yeah, it. Fast Appreciate and hard. it, Brett. Appreciate that's, it, bro. That is the yeah, uh, end of session one, guys. Woo. That was, uh, Woo! That was, uh, that was a lot of fun. This session. Great, great, great gobble session. Fun. Thank you. I'm glad. Yeah, I'm glad great, you all... Fun. Uh, uh, I hope, I believe you all enjoyed it. We attacked yourself. each other four or five times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've learned I don't really have to do much to make challenging boss fights because you all are going to fight each other anyway. So that's great. That, yeah. that's, that makes yeah. my job a lot easier. I'm proud by the end of this, I didn't get hit. Like I was expecting these, I was expecting one of us to PvP kill. Uh, the first <laughs> the end of this session. <laughs> well, okay, it'll happen. That it'll happen. Bad. Um, I can't bug <laughs> just to get a roll on that wild magic table. Uh, are you? <laughs> I, I, I know. I know. I know right <laughs> off the bat. Do you, you literally cast that? I saw the fog. I saw level one. I was like, he just wants to roll on that I, wild magic table. <laughs> I had to dodge a fireball. I had to do dodge cheese. It's fucking staff. I've mm -hmm. had to dodge a lot in this session. You for did you great. Guys. You were so good. Uh, you oh, oh, thank powerful. you. Uh, the, the dice that I rolled. Thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, you did great. Oh, yeah. You're like, oh, wow. Thanks. Really appreciate That's it. That's so good. Uh, but, but that was, yeah, that was a ton of fun. Um, I, I liked, yeah, you guys are great. Um, did you guys like that the first boss was literally a goblin sitting on another goblin as a human? Yes. That's like, yeah, that's, that's the good full, epic. full blown goblin. Oh, well. you've set, you've set the, the stage that I now expect all boss fights to be ridiculous. Just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, mm. absolutely. If we actually Two fight a real boss, I'll be time. disappointed. I'm just gonna let you know now. <laughs> you enter a lair, there's a dragon <laughs> right. and Jesse's just in the background. I Boo! leave like Boo! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> But like how many goblins are controlling the dragon, right? Be eight <laughs> goblins stacked in that it's like a thing. Trojan horse of goblins. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna go say goodbye to chat, and and I'm sweating every time I DM. I just get into this drenched sweat as I'm like furiously DMing. I'm not mm. really certain why. So just like the goblins, yeah, yeah. That's like me playing <laughs> league, dude. <laughs> uh, uh. Um, but yeah, you guys were great, and I'm super excited for uh, for next week's session. So thank you guys again. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. All right, goodbye, guys, and say goodbye oh, to bye. chat. Bye. 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 Slash TV slash for Twitch Prime. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you can't let Crendor get.